Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another stream and another episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, is everyone doing today? Hopefully, your day's going well. It's very rainy where I'm at right now, and uh, oh man, I don't know what uh, this spring has been kicking my butt. Not gonna lie, this spring has been kicking my butt. I am a tired boy, <laughs> but uh, I mean, overall, I'm doing okay. Overall, I'm doing all right. Just a little, uh, as a little sleepy. Just a little sleepy. Just a little bit of um, springtime allergies. Things like that. The usual. Definitely more than well enough to get back into some more Final Fantasy VII, which oh, I am so excited for. What's up, Zane? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Good morning. But yeah, so last time that we was here in Final Fantasy VII, it's Final Fantasy VII Part Two of the remake, Rebirth. We uh. We had this entire, like, backstory about, um, uh, about, like, the events of Crisis Core. So, like, Cloud was retelling, uh, all of the, 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 like, story plot points about, like, how Sephiroth turned from this, like, war hero into the guy that's trying to kill us. Like, the big bad of, of Final Fantasy VII. And, uh, it was very funny considering he was, t he was retelling the story. In the worst way possible. He was, like, making... He was getting all of the facts wrong. Like, if you've played Crisis Core, you know, like, the true story. You know how the events actually played out. But freaking Cloud Strife here. Boy was just like, yeah, so this happened, and then this happened, and yeah, totally this happened. And we were like, bro, in your story, Tifa dies, and she's literally right there. Also... <laughs> I don't know, there's just so many little weird funny things about that, but, um, you know, it, it is it's interesting seeing, like, this game, because, like, back in the day, right, whenever Final Fantasy VII first came out, it was only Final Fantasy VII. Crisis Core was, was just a, uh, a, a future project. Like, a, by, by quite a few years as well, I'm pretty sure, like, this game came out in 97. I want to say that in 1997, in the far-off year of 1997, a year after I was born, <laughs> uh, there was, uh, that's when Final Fantasy VII Original came out. And then I'm pretty sure it was like 2000 and... I want to say like 2007. Like just a 10 years later, they made the Crisis Core and, and like filled out all that story of like the true happenings of... Whoa, Aerith! Aerith! <laughs> but yeah, it told out the true story of, uh, of what happened in that... Uh, like before the events of Final Fantasy VII. Which is that's such an interesting series. Like Final Fantasy VII is just... There's a reason why it's like a cult classic, right? It's, it's, there's a reason why this is the like tried and true like Final Fantasy game that everyone knows and loves. It's because there's just so much to it, and oh, I'm so glad it's been getting its remake because I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Like I have a hard time playing the uh, the, the original style, right? I have a hard time playing the, um, the the way the game is like originally made. So uh, this update has definitely made it a lot better for me. Definitely made it a lot more. Um, Da, 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 da. But it's made it a lot more like approachable for me, cause like I don't know, that ATB gauge in particular I hate. Also, apparently we all leveled up. We're now level 16. That is something I like about this. So in this game, we uh, we all share experience, which is very nice. Um, here we are. <clears throat> so yeah, like depending on it doesn't matter who we have in our party, we're all going to be getting the same levels, the same experience, and all of that, which is just really cool. Also, I kind of figured out what. Like everything was about in this. 
Um, I already pushed to two minutes behind, but yo, what's up, brother, doing? What's up, Minky, and what's up, Zek, and how you guys doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like, last time I, I was, I spent way too long looking at my weapons and being like, how do I upgrade these things? I was not, because I skipped the cutscene, or I skipped the tutorial, because I was like, ah, oh, it's going to be simple, it's going to be easy, I don't need this. But, um, <laughs> it, it's not like the same upgrade that it was in Final Fantasy VII. Like, I, I spent some more time after stream, like 10 minutes or so. And, uh, yeah, apparently, like, with this thing, you don't really, you don't really, like, level things. If you set weapon skills, which are these things, but, like, that's pretty much the only upgrading that I've been able to find. And then, like, my weapon will level up when I get, uh, 15 more SP, which I believe will unlock either another weapon skill or another slot of weapon skills. So, it's not like how it was in the first one. I might be wrong about that, but that's my understanding. Like, I, I, it doesn't look like there's really any way to, like, actually upgrade stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I do have, like, the, uh, the, 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 like, the folio things, where I gotta go back to, like, one of those bookstores to get my, like, <laughs> my, my, like, skill tree for each of the characters. So, the game's definitely a little bit different than the remake, but I've still been enjoying it. Still been enjoying it, and I'm very excited to just be spending a nice, cozy time going to explore all around uh, Midgar, or the, the the area outside of Midgar. We, we just went to Calm, uh, that's where we were getting that entire story, and now, now we're out here and just, I don't know, we're just going to be vibing around, we're just going to be looking around. I know the game wants me to go, like, over there. Um, is this the button? Yeah, this is my button. Like, the game wants me to go over here to this thing. Discovery, co-conspirators, I don't remember exactly what's going on, but back there in Calm, uh, what was it, Broden? What was that his name? Broden? Broden. Broden, he was all like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm an, like an avalanche sympathizer or whatever, so like, I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> he told us all about like going over to there to that area. The, yeah, Calm was under siege by Shinra, hence all the, uh, whatever the hell helicopter type deals those are. Those flat bottom ones are very weird. But yeah, we got all sorts of, uh, all sorts of area to explore now, and I'm very excited. Oh, yo? Cache locations. Find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Yeah, that's just looting in general. But yeah, I'm very excited for things like this, because, uh, I love exploring. I love exploration in video games. It's just one of my all-time favorite things to do. If I can just, like, dick around and, like, see the world... With, like, my own two feet, with my own two eyes. Like, oh, man, that is just so good. It's such a good time. Get more books for characters later. Oh, interesting. Really? So I'm going to find more books than just the, uh... Also, OBS. No, OBS! Um, but yeah, I'm going to get more books than, than the ones that I was getting already. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting to, to get. But yeah, my internet's been really weird lately. Like, I've noticed that, um... Like... For whatever reason, like, my Wi-Fi is just straight up not working half the time, and my, like, Ethernet, it's usually fine. Like, I'm hooked up to Ethernet with my, my computer, of course. But, um, ah, go down, go down, Cloud, go down! <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, it's been weird. It has been weird lately. <laughs> just like, I don't know. I also, like, YouTube and Twitch have been having, like, updates and whatnot, so, like, there's, like, a lot of weirdness going on right now with, uh, with, with my streaming. <laughs> Wow. Ah, wow. Thank you, Ina. Ah, so nice to hear. So nice to hear. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some weirdness. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, it did drop there a little bit, but, I mean, it, it was only 300 frames. So, like, overall, not really all that much. But, uh, hopefully it, uh, hopefully it smooths out. Got two treasures in this location, huh? Alright, sure. Sure, sure. But, yeah, new books, huh? That's, because, I mean, like, the, um... And unless it's, like, all in the same, like, character sheet. Because, like, those books that we were getting were pretty expansive. I don't know if I can look at them right now. Also, yeah, we got, like, the Queen's Blade or whatever. I do not want to do that. Yeah, follow the manuscripts. So, yeah, like, we got these things, and... It's pretty expansive. I, I guess I can't look at that right now. But, uh... If I'm going to get be, if I'm going to be getting multiple of those, oh my god. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be here forever. <laughs> So I really like the, uh, like, Assassin's Creed running in this game. Like, being able to just, like, hold down R2 or whatever that button would be. Uh, it, it's really nice. There's nothing here. I did swap my team around a little bit considering I didn't feel like I really needed three melee characters on field at the same time. Like, we got Tifa, we got Red, we've got Barret, and we got Aerith, right? 
And I just felt like that was a little too much of one thing, right? It's too much of one thing. Like Cloud, I'll be good enough. I'll be good enough playing as Cloud with the uh, for, for the melee. So getting some range with Barret and getting some like magic with Aerith, I feel like that balances our team out a lot more. And so uh, that's, that's, that's what I'm going with right now. I do like how like they're always following me around though. Like I got all my team following me around, and uh, like whenever we get into the fight, the other two just kind of like fade away into like the ether. They're just like, okay, I'll just be over here cheering you on. Good job, making sure nobody's gonna try and ambush you or anything. That feels good. And since we like get experience for everybody every single time, like that's that's so nice. <laughs> it's so freaking nice that I don't gotta worry about swapping party members in or out or anything like that. Although I guess I probably should, huh? Considering, even though we get experience, I don't think we'll be getting, like, our weapon skills for, uh, for all the characters, right? Like, I imagine you have to be on field for that. I mean, let me look at that, actually, because, I mean, with, with Cloud, um, yeah, we, we got focused for us, right? And it's about, it, it's at, like, the U. So, so, like, we're getting there, we're getting there with that. Focus Shot, Arcane Ward, Stardust Ray, and Dive Kick. Dive Kick! Yeah, I don't... Uh, they're, they're not getting any. I don't know if, uh, like, Baird and Aerith will get theirs or not by themselves, I'd imagine, but, you know, it's a little bit easier whenever you're playing as the character, right? Considering you don't gotta worry about, like, using any other skills. You can just use that skill so you can master it and then move on with your life. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably swap around, like, whenever I'm doing this, just to, like, make sure we all get our weapon skills. So I definitely want to, like, get all of them. I don't even know what's looking at me. But sure, why not? Uh, yeah, the fighting in this, like, I love how seamless it is, right? Like, there's no, uh, like, there's no interacting with, with an enemy all the way down from forever away, right? There, there's no, like, random en enemy encounters or anything like that. It's just like, hey, there's an enemy on the field. Kill it! And then once they're done, we get to move away. It's so seamless and, ah, it's so nice. So freaking nice. You know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? A pipe. It's a pipeline. <laughs> Moose Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. <laughs> you call it a pipeline, but I call it a funnel. One that drains the planet's lifeblood into generous pockets. Mark my words. I'm going to put a stop to that. Oh, I know. How about we break it in half and stick one end in the ground? That way we'll really be given back to the planet. There's an idea. Real genius one. <laughs> and unique? I like how Red was kind of like down for that. Oh, come on. Like, I don't know, it it didn't even really sound like sarcasm from Red. He was just like, oh no, there's an idea. Like, yo, is he actually saying that we should do this? Are we gonna be doing like destruction of uh corporate property and like putting the uh <laughs> putting the pieces back into the earth? Like, I mean, that'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of a fun little collectible. Yeah, Queen's Blood didn't like it at first, but it grew on me. I like it now. And change weapons, some scums with skills, I think. Yeah, I know there's definitely, like, some skill... Like, some weapons have skills, but you have to, like, master the weapon. It's very, like, um... Like, the Tales of Asperia game, or... Yeah, it was even, like, the first part... In the first part of the remake, it was like that as well. So we have one more chest here, so I want to look around. I want to look around for it. I must! My collector brain must have all the things. I must have them all! Gotta have them all! Me gang gaga, yeah. How you doing, Lance? So glad to see. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on. And oh yeah, look there it is. Just down these like aqueducts or whatever. Not an aqueduct, but you know, it's an archway. An archway of some sort. A manifestation of the planet's blessing. What? <laughs> I received a manifestation of the planet's blessing. What the hell is that? I. All right, sure. Why not? Got some phoenix down. Also, this is apparently a new treasure location because. Yeah. Grassy viaduct. Alright, so it's a viaduct. Whatever a viaduct is. Whatever that may be. But yeah, down there, there's still something else. Yeah, the Thresher water wheel. So I need something over there. I'm sure I'm to start the stream off with a wah! A good way to start the stream off, Minkyu. The best way to start off a stream. <laughs> That's why Enid starts off all of her streams with the three wahs. Or two wahs? I can't remember, it's been too long. It's been too long, I've not watched Hollow Live in... Eons! It's really hard to watch, uh, like, corporate streamers whenever you yourself are a streamer. <laughs> like, I much rather, like, it, it's a lot more, like, worth my time to, like, just watch my friends, you know? 
order to like meet other small streamers that I can then be friend. Hey, here it is. So yeah, like as, as nice as it is, like Hollow Live was like one of the big reasons that got me into being a VTuber. Considering they were the ones that I was like, oh, yo, this is like a legit thing. This is like, okay, I, I can see now. I can see. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep up with them. Considering now it's like, I'm building my own circle, my own communities. And so, like, yeah, kind of, kind of got to step away from keeping up with every single Ina art stream or Marine art stream. <laughs> Usually art streams. I watch a lot of art streams. Carrier Quiz too, I suppose, though. I don't remember, but you do get more skills? Nice. I mean, yeah, I figured. I figured, considering I, uh, like how the remake was. In the remake, you was able to get different weapons, and once you used the weapons more, you got the skills that you were able to use forever. Which makes me sad that I didn't get that $3,000 sword that was in Calm. I mean, I'm sure we can go back there at some point in time, but currently it's under siege, so... Nah. It's only a thousand zenny short. It is called Zenny in this, right? I can't remember. It's been a while. Want a bit of Corona and let me play Plate Up today? Hey, nice. Nice to hear that uh, you guys are still keeping up with uh, with with some of those uh, classic ones. Hey, stop bounding me. Being bound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, never again. Never again. Oh wow, I have so less health. My health is so <laughs> insignificant. Invoke summons. And then he's a little bit of engage fills up. Going in. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's just like how it was in in the other one. Will Barrett and Aerith like use their skills? Like they haven't really been using any skills this entire time that I've noticed. Maybe they are and I'm just not paying attention enough. That was something else. Yeah, like the, the summons, if it's like how it was in remake, we just have to like fight for a while and then eventually it'll like randomly spawn that like the, the summon will will start summoning once that bar fills up then we can use like a uh, a, a quick menu access thing and there we go also is this a freaking ubisoft synchronization tower am i about to like fill up the map right now <laughs> i guess not moogle medals i'll take those though i'll take those yeah that would have been kind of Really? <laughs> if, if I was actually going through here and, and uh, like, syncing up with... Like, because this looks very important, right? I feel like there's probably going to be something. <laughs> something at some point in time. We're definitely going to be doing uh, stuff with that. With these towers. Or at least I'd imagine. It'd be kind of weird if they existed and had no purpose. be kind of strange. Kind of weird. Also, that's kind of that's sad. These, uh, oh, it shows on the map that, like, there's a check mark that I've done it, but it doesn't, sh like, I don't know, it'd be nice if it showed on the, uh, on the little compass at the top that it was, it was done. Or, like, it just straight up wouldn't show us the ones that we've already completed. Hmm, because that'll get kind of cluttery. I don't know, there might be, like, a setting where I can change that. Kind of doubt it, but, God. I keep getting, I keep getting blown away with how beautiful this game is, though. Like, it looks so good. Looks very good, and like this is the the lowest quality like graphics that I've got. So I mean, imagine playing this with the uh, the full graphics. Be looking amazing, but you know, I, I I must do performance. I must do performance over. Uh, uh, hey, weapon ability master, I did it. Yeah, so yeah, I now have that maxed out. If that's the case. Fighting is very. I know how to fight as Barrett. Oh, I gotta hold it this time. Interesting. Focus shot. Nice. I remember Barrett was, like, really, really good to play as. And yeah, yeah, he has, like, his charge attack, which, uh... I can also, like... I can use the, the, the charge attack, uh, like, his triangle whenever it's not ready. I just can press the button and he, like, kind of, like, jimmies the, uh... The, the Gatling gun so it, it gets ready faster. Very helpful. Very cool. Uh, is Barrett my in... No, he's, he's not my leader yet. Well, yeah, so, like, I think I got the... Yeah, yeah, Focus Thrust has been mastered, so now I no longer need to use this sword. Oh, yeah, and, like, I'm already almost there with... With Barrett. Alright, well, I mean, I may as well set, uh... Barrett as my leader. How do I do that? Combat settings? How do I go about doing that? Just bird-watching towers? Yeah, that'd be pretty funny, huh? <laughs> Oh, party. 
Probably down here to party. Uh, toggle command guide? That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, how do I? I remember doing this at one point in time, but I don't remember how I did it. It's the same place where I was, like, changing my character, like, setup. Combat settings. No, this is my part. Oh, I mean, I can do it here. Set as a leader. Yeah, okay, no, maybe this was the area. My boy Barrett, he is a lot of fun to use. Barrett has got some real good combos. Kind of wish that I was walking around as Barrett, considering he's the leader right now, but... Whatever. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, watch the homie streams, otherwise it clips. Otherwise it clips? <laughs> I mean, I try to clip as much of the, the homey streams, like, whenever I, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm usually in multiple streams at the same time, but even still, I always try to clip, like, moments where are, like, particularly funny, you know? I always try to clip, do a, do a nice little clipping of the homey streams. It's easy enough to do, like, on YouTube, there's, like, both YouTube and Twitch, there's just, like, a clip button, and uh, you can just go back, change the length up to, like, a minute, or, like, down to, like, five seconds up to a minute. And it's, it's just nice. It's, it's nice. I was looking back yesterday at the, the clips that I had made on Twitch for friends. It's kind of weird on Twitch, considering apparently if you hit the clip button, even if you, like, exit out of the tab and don't save that clip, it, uh, it still saves a random portion of that as, as a clip. Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. What? How can you be so sure? Those generator things? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, you will only attack while on the hunt oh. in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, oh, you're talking about the deer. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can. Nope, not really. So long as somebody's attacking me, I can act in self defense. That's all that I care about. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, when you find Sephiroth, he's just chilling watching birds and gets really mad because you made a ruckus and scared the birds off. He's just like Varden, for real, for real. <laughs> Bird friends, no! Bird friends! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Those towers definitely seem interesting. I don't know what they're going to be doing, but... Seems like something. I do hope that we get some... I mean, we're definitely going to, right? I, like, I don't know exactly how it's going to do it, considering... Back in ye olden days, right? The world map was pretty much just a, a flat, stagnant location. It, um... It didn't have a whole lot to it. Like, it had, like, hills and forests and things like that, but it wasn't like this, right? So, uh... Like, you was able to, like, just drive over things with whatever vehicles you had. Or, like, just the chocobos running with them. But in this... If we get some sort of, like, big old vehicle, I don't know how we're gonna be getting around as, as well. I mean, the, uh, the chocobo would probably be fine. It's just like summoning a horse. So, like, I, I could imagine that would be pretty, pretty simple. You know, you just, like, blow a whistle or whatever, and then you just wait a second or two, and then the chocobos will, like, spawn behind you, and you know, off you go. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what other type of... Because, I mean, in the original Final Fantasy VII, there was a lot of different vehicles. And JRPGs of old in general usually got your, like, horse or, or whatever, and then later on you got, like, a, a vehicle of, of some sort, some sort of, like, ground transport vehicle, and then, like, a boat vehicle, and then, like, a flying vehicle that was just, like, the combination of everything. Ah, good times. I, I love that progression. To be honest with you, I absolutely love that, like, JRB, JRPG progression of, uh, of, like, transportation vehicles. Also, look, there's a little, uh, out, or a little farmstead here. It's a very tiny house. Cows! Moo! Moo, 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 moo. I don't know if they got, like, tomatoes or something and, like, potatoes? I don't know. They got plants. Plants of some sorts. Is it even a JRPG if it doesn't have an airship? Right, right. Ah. Oh yeah, but yeah, what I was saying earlier, like, for whatever reason, Twitch just, like, it'll, like, if you go back, uh, if, if you do the clip thing, which is the only way to go back into a stream on Twitch, you, uh, like, it, it'll auto-save the, the VOD, even if it's not something that you, yourself, are like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is it, clip this, this is the fire. It's very weird, so, like, I went back and, uh, 
I, had, I deleted quite a few unnamed clips that I had. I say unnamed, but it was just because the clip was named whatever the stream title was. But yeah, it was usually like I was watching some of them back and I was like, I don't remember clipping this. Why would I have named it this? And then it was like, there was nothing of like particular substance in this clip. Like it was just like a part of the stream. And I'm like, all right, you know, that's, that's cool. That's cool and all, but like, <laughs> it wasn't like a particularly, particularly like funny moment or anything. So, ah, uh, Twitch is weird. Twitch is weird. I think I do prefer the uh, the way that YouTube does their clips compared to Twitch, considering like you can actually like go back as far as you want to, and like if you want a clip of a certain part of a stream on Twitch, it, after like I don't know a couple minutes or so, you just have to like wait until the the VOD comes out and then you can clip it. Which for me, I don't even freaking save my VODs, so because uh, I mean there's no point for me saving my VODs on Twitch, because I mean. That's what YouTube is for. <laughs> YouTube is liter literally there for uh, posterity's sake, for videos and VODs, so... I don't know, it's weird. It, it, it's, it's weird. Not really much of a point saving anything on the Twitch side. But, you know, I do got the clips saved, which is very nice. I do appreciate all the clips that everybody has made. Oh, I can actually talk to you. Magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original. What, the windmill? Okay, Mildred, whatever. Hey, look, an ammo case. Weird. <laughs> the random just bullshit that's just, like, laying around. There's the axle that reminded me of a barbell. Whoa, Barrett! Barrett flying in. Uh, I don't even know what these are. I keep getting these planet's blessings, but there's, like, no reason for any of that. Down we goes. Down we goes. Seem to uh, see more mainstream corporate VTuber clips. Don't even think they're from their official page. Really? I mean, I know that, like, with with a lot of, like, the Clipper channels in general, generally speaking, it's only, like, the, the big ones. So, like, I mean, like, that's how I... That's what really, like, sold the deal for me. It's not how I got into VTubers, but it's how it, like, sold the deal for me. Like, I got into, um into Hollow Life because, like, I've mentioned this before, there was uh, a, a Story of Seasons game that was coming out, the Pioneers of Olive Town. And I was like, yeah, I want to see what's up about this game. I want to, like, look into this a little bit. Pretty excited to play it. But, like, I didn't want... I, I Well, like, two parts. I didn't want to get spoiled on any of the actual story. And also, it wasn't even out on the West Coast, or on the West yet. So, uh, it was like, all right, yeah, I'll just watch these, uh, this Japanese... VTuber thing. I'll watch this one play this game just so that I can kind of get like a feel for like how it plays, how it looks, and, and things like that. I like, understand maybe like one out of every 100 words or something like that, but <laughs> it'll be, it'll be, you know, that'd, that'd be nice, a nice way to like figure out what's going on. And that was like the first time that I like really gave VTubers a try. Like I'd seen VTuber clips or yeah, VTuber videos before, like. I remember I so, saw, I think it was Nyaners did a, uh, a Drunk Souls. And so I was like, oh man, that'd be fun to do at some point in time. And I'm like, alright, yeah, I could see like this being a thing. But I wasn't really like super into it. I was like, ah, you know, I can see the appeal. But like, it's it's whatever. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, like that, that one time that I saw Lammy. And then after that one live stream, it just like blew up in my recommended. It was like, hey, VTuber clip channels. And it was all those like very... Uh, well-known indies or corporates but I mean hey it was a very very good time watching all those clips which then whenever life tumbled my way and was like hey you uh you, you want to stream and I was like yeah I'm, I'm gonna stream I'm gonna be a VTuber now because you know that's the thing that I'm into right now <laughs> that's the thing I'm into at the moment it's crazy to think about that like if I didn't if I wasn't into VTubers at that point in time Whenever I decided to start streaming, I either would be a no cam streamer or a face cam streamer. Did you guys imagine that? Like the same, the same voice and everything, but without this model. <laughs> like at some point in time, I do want to do uh, hybrid stream type deals. I want to become a hybrid streamer where like I can just use my regular face instead of uh, the, the VTuber model. Because I mean. I don't know, it feels like there's, a, like, a lot of effort involved with doing, like, the entire 3D tracking. And I think I'd much rather just 
show myself at that point in time. Like, I already look pretty damn similar to my model. Like, my model is literally just an extension of myself. A bit more fancified version of myself. The, the sky, and the cooler sky. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I don't care. Reception to incorporate and catch you guys later. Hey, no worries, brother Doom. Always glad to have you around. Always glad to see you. Hopefully the rest of your day goes well. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Drunk so tomorrow. So hopefully your uh, your reception gets better by then. But yeah, it's like I was saying earlier. There's a lot of issues that I've just been having with internet in general. I reset my modem yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, considering I was not confident. Have confidence. No confidence. I, I was not having any confidence about, uh, ab about, um, uh, like, my Wi-Fi working. And so, I was like, yeah, I'll just re refresh this. I'm not streaming today. I can just, uh, reset. And, I, I don't know. It, it worked, but... You'd be the avalanche, folks. We'll see. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. Thank you, Farmer Joe. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it... Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Yeah, they're just kind of... hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Cool. <laughs> they say that they're not leaving a single stone unturned, which is probably true. But, uh, on the same hand, they left every single rooftop, uh, like, turned. <laughs> they, they were just like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. It's a rooftop. Oh, yeah, you can, like, there's things that are, like, uh... Is this free? Like, there's things that, like the, these uh, vending machines will sometimes have sales. I don't know what. I don't know. Is that like 100% off or no? It's down. Why is there a percent sign there then? But yeah, like the the cushion is on. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's one of these. It's <laughs> percent off. I don't know why the percent sign, but sure. What's 250 now? It's just 100. I mean. Sure, you know what? I guess I'll buy anything that's, uh, on sale. Probably would be, a, a good idea. Although, I don't know if I want to buy... ...material, like, uh, accessories that are on sale. It's better than everything that everyone's got. Uh, can I, like, change my... ...category... Mm. I wanted to see if I could, like, change to see, like, what I have equipped and what they have equipped. Because, I mean, it shows behind me, like, the attributes and whatnot, but... I mean, it is pretty cheap. Like, 1500 500 Ah, it's sure fine. I guess I'll do it. Who, who do I want to give it to, though? 33 Probably want to give it to Aerith, considering she's 29 So she's the lowest. So, yeah, sure. Buy that. And I guess I can't equip it yet. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what's... What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's my folio thing. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like, I have all of these things. I got five SP, so I can buy something else. Uh, these all cost five, so Punisher Mode, Strong Attack Damage. I mean, that's pretty nice. Wind Magic Attack without expending MP. Really? That's cool. Effect Chain Attack. Learn this ability to strengthen wind material skills. Ooh... That's really cool. I don't know if I have any wind on cloud, but I like that. Then I can also just do synergy stuff, which I don't know. These synergy skills seemed kind of weak. They seemed kind of weak, so I don't know if I'm going to be really using them too much. Yeah, let's go with this one. That sounds really good. Elemental and also uh, just will give me a, a straight up uh, increase to materia that I use. Wind materia that I use. What's, uh, what's this one, then? Uh, that same thing, but fire. And then increases max HP. Sure, I mean, I'm not really worried about health at the moment, so... Give Barret the fire! The fire! Rolling thunder? Alright, sure. May as well. Don't even know what this one is. Uh, max MP by three. Three's not a lot, but... Still would be nice to give that. And... We can do wind again on red. Uh, increases max HP. And this is the Barret and Red combo. Increases Counterspin and Wildfire. Eh, sure, whatever. I'll just buy this one. Hmm. Although it does seem like... Maybe this is the entirety, right? 
Like, maybe this is the entire book. It just doesn't show us everything because, uh, or, like, we don't, we can't access all of these things. Like, maybe more of these tiles or, like, galaxies or whatever. Maybe these things will, like, open up whenever we get more books or, like, more pages. Because, I mean, it doesn't look like I can go over there and buy anything from there yet. I don't know, we'll see. We was it. Good morning, this guy was up, Sachiko. How you doing today? Glad to see ya. Thanks for stopping on by. Hey, yeah, we'll go with Icy. Doing a little bit of the uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth today. I'm just exploring around, seeing what we can find, and uh, having a good time. Having a good old time. I mean, I may as well rest, I suppose. Free healing. Apparently there's some of these uh, benches that are going to be broken down. And I gotta, like, use a cushion. <laughs> Kind of interesting, but sure, whatever. Also, I like how benches have kind of become the, like, standard, right? That's cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, like, benches and, like, Hollow Knight and Ender Lilies. Final Fantasy VII Remake. No, oh, bear, you knocked down their tree! <laughs> Gotta love the collision, though. Gotta love the collision. Finally get my wisdom teeth removed yesterday. I have four wisdom teeth. Nice. What's up, Hell's King? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. But yeah, God, getting my wisdom teeth removed. I just got mine removed a couple years back. Uh, yeah, it, it was it was like four years ago, almost at the dot, a little bit over. And then back in uh, back in 2020, just before you know lockdowns and all that thing started happening, I uh, I got my wisdom teeth removed. Which honestly, thank God. <laughs> Thank God I got them removed then, because if I got them removed in, like, more modern day, I feel like it'd be so much more of a hassle. It was already a bit of a hassle back then, considering if, if you even had, like, a slight fever or, like, a slight temperature, you, uh, they were hesitant about seeing you. Which, I mean, you know, understandably so. Nobody wants to get sick, but, like, I, uh, <laughs> I, I have the anxiety. So whenever I have to do things, it raises my blood pressure quite substantially <laughs> and so like I, I run hot whenever I have to like go and do something like adulting I, I, I generally run a, a, a bit warm so <laughs> they were like oh you might be a little sick and I'm just like no it's it's not it's because of this and they were like mm, I don't know about that you should probably uh, just, you know come back another day and I'm like all right fine I can't argue this because you know you're the doctors and all that stuff that is our doctors, right? Pretty sure they get like a doctor. What's up, Nix? How you doing? Alato Nix. Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Uh, been stopping by quite a few of uh, uh, of her streams recently. Another one of those YouTube VTubers. Very nice, very nice. Don't really get to see that many of them. You really don't get to see all that many uh, YouTube VTubers. Like, I don't know. Outside of like Hololive and um, like big name corporates or indies. It's, it's generally... Pretty barren on, on the YouTube side, so it's very nice being able to uh, to meet you. Hopefully you've been doing well. Glad to see you, though. Thank you for stopping on by. You got your wisdom teeth out of the suck? It really did. Oh, man. The worst part about the wisdom teeth getting removed... Oh, hi. Is this Sid? Well, nope, well. it's Bill. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers... I don't know oh. you. Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Oh. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. And me. That I can't believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. For an old man here looking cool. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. Mm hmm. You uh know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Is this guy gonna be our like moving around dude? Oh. <laughs> this is he gonna be like a fast travel type deal? Like a fast travel service? I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> Y'all uh -huh. just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Thanks. Thanks, old man. <laughs> I like how Barrett and Red just were not in that cutscene. Like, nah, I'm just gonna be clouding the ladies. <laughs> Hello, hello, what's up, Varden? Woke up on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. But, uh, but, yeah, yeah. That guy's probably gonna be our... I didn't recognize who he was. He's probably gonna be the one that's, like... Either we can fast travel later on, or we can use his truck to, like, get around. That'd be cool. Hey, you! Enemies! Fight me! You're dead. Fight me! Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm Barrett now. 
I forgot that I'm Barret now. <laughs> when running in with the... Uh, when running in with, with, with Cloud. And then Barret just like spawned there. Fire in my one arm! You guys, uh... God, Cloud, can you, 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 you can help me out a little bit here, right? You can help me out a little bit, buddy. I'm not, uh... Barret and Aerith are not the, the like, up in close combat characters. Oh, well, that's fine. Fire in the one arm! Is that what he's saying? Or, A, Duffy, suck it! Although, oh yeah, I guess I could do, um... I could do this, so, like... Uh, yeah, this, this ability, and then Arcane Ward, because that's what... Sure, whatever, I don't care. I need to be using st stuff like that for Aerith, so she can get her skill. Then Beast Down, cool, nice. Yeah, I guess I could be using, like, the commands to, uh... To be leveling up everybody's weapons. So I'm already maxed out with Cloud, so... <laughs> it feels very weird swapping between. Another reason why it'd be nice to, be, like, have Barret as my... My, my main dude right now. as the one that I'm running around as. Kind of weird controlling Cloud, and then all of a sudden swapping over to Barret. <laughs> but oh well. Oh well. But yeah, like, the, the, the Wisdom Teeth thing, that, that, that really, really did suck. That really did suck. I, uh... I, like, whenever I, I got mine taken out, um... Like, that, that whole, like, month, pretty much. The, like, whole month afterwards, where you were just, like trying to rest, eat, like, eating food sucked. You couldn't eat solid food really all that way. You had to eat, like, really mushy, really soft things. Couldn't put a lot of pressure down. And, like, I don't know why, but for me, <laughs> it, like, blew my sinuses out. So, like, I, I almost had to go back to the dentist and, and, like, get it, like, stitched up or whatever, considering, I don't know, apparently I had a lot of pressure in my head whenever I got my sinuses out. I was, what, 20... Uh, four years ago. How old was I? Uh, 23. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, I was like 23 when I got them out, and apparently I had a lot of sinuses built up and whatnot, so like, they busted, and oh my god, it sucked. Had like a whistling in my head. It was terrible. I know this is not where I gotta, I don't think this is where I gotta go, but, uh, it's a broken down ruin, and I want to explore things. So yeah, exploring. It's supposed to be uh, harder the older you are when you get it done. It's supposed to be worse on women than it is on men. Still no idea why. That is weird. Like, I mean, some things it makes sense why it would be worse on a male or a female, respectively. But, uh, with teeth and sinuses, that doesn't really... I don't know, that, that's not something that really is different, depending on your on your gender. Not, not in my opinion, at least. I don't know why it would. But, uh, I mean, hey, what do I know? What do I know? It's not a fun time. Not a fun time at all. Whenever I got him out, it's just like that one night. I remember in particular that one night. A bit disgusting, but like that one night when my sinuses like exploded. Like, oh my god, I thought I like, I thought my nose got broke. I thought somebody like came into my room and like punched me in the face. Because I was just like, oh my god, my freaking, like it was just like liquid. <laughs> it was just liquid in my face. And I was like, ah. And just because like my sinuses popped open. Which, uh, felt really good after that, but then I had, like, that weird whistling in my head, and I had to fix that, and aye, aye, aye. That sucked. Exploring enemies' weaknesses. Oh, yeah. I can assess things. Assess the situation! I think I'll just keep using this for now. I think I'll just keep using this for now. Focus shot! Honestly speaking, I don't know if that's really worthwhile. Wow, I'm doing, like, ones and twos of damage. I've even swapped my, my difficulty thing to, uh, fire in my one arm! I can swap my, my, uh, uh, oh yeah, I can, like, lock onto targets. Probably should as a ranged character, huh? But, uh, yeah, I swap my, my difficulty to dynamic, because apparently, according to Zekin, this game does have a pretty stupid, uh, difficulty curve. About to get real! Elifa Dunk. <laughs> I love JRPG monster names. They're always so interesting, like, what? Elephant, Elifa Dunk. Sure, sure, why not? Why does Cloud got like an arrow down? Oh, okay, good to know. If I am, uh, if I'm using my, uh, like, skills. If I'm using my skills, I can't swap it around. I, I, can't, I can't, like, dodge out of them. I, I, I am I'm committed as soon as I press the skill button. The dude was charging me down, I was like, ah, you know what, maybe we just roll out of here. 
maybe we just don't want to be here right now. Maybe uh, we can just like move over here and try again. But but nah, had to had to go right through it. Uh, one of your male cousins and I got our wisdom teeth out the same week when we were in high school. I was laid up on the couch for nearly a week because I was in so much pain. Because I was good to go rock climbing like two days later. God damn. That's, uh, that's crazy. I was out for like about two weeks as well. But then again, like I said, my sinuses did explode. So like, <laughs> I, uh, I, I had to take longer to recuperate. Because yeah, I don't know. It was like, I think it was like two days later when, when, when they exploded. And so I, uh... I, I had to, uh, I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling better, I feel worse, oh my god, I feel so much worse. And then, like, a week or so later, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm back to normal, able to eat food and whatnot. Also, you're supposed to sleep it off, right? You're supposed to sleep off your, um, your wisdom teeth, like, surgery, like, like the after effects, the after effects? <laughs> nah, I did not. I did not do that at all. They felt better afterwards, though. That's good, that's good. Glad to hear that they were uh, ready to go afterwards, immediately. Yeah, some people are crazy like that, though. Some people's like pain tolerances and uh, like how they uh, deal with all of that. It's so, so, so different from other people's. Like no, uh, no surgery or pain really works the same way with anyone. Even family, even if, when it's uh, the same family, whatnot. I'm gonna need to. Uh, I need to be a little careful here. Barrett's a little... <laughs> that thing jumped my attack. Oh, we're done here. Oh, we leveled up, but we didn't get our uh, HP back. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's fine, I suppose. Miss Anson's probably felt better after... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, after, uh, after like a week. It was, it was like after a week. It, it felt better, considering... Like, it's not supposed to do that, apparently. They're not supposed to, like, explode like that. So... <laughs> but yeah, after, like, the month afterwards... Whenever I was uh, completely recovered and healed, oh, I felt so much better. It was definitely like, I can breathe. I can feel like so much less pressure in my head. Although, it, lately it's not been that way, considering... Oh yeah, I don't know, this this spring has been murder on me. As much as I love the warmer weather, being able to go outside and do things... Oh, I don't know, something's in the air. Some, 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 something's in blooming. Something's blooming right now that is just killing me. What's up, Don? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in. Now, this is some rebirthing. You know it. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure you've been playing some of this as well, right? I almost never get to catch your streams considering, oh man, freaking <laughs> complete other side of the world. Exactly like 12 hours of difference. It's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. But uh, I, I do like look at your bots from time to time. I'm like, oh yeah, look at that. I see. Man of uh, tastes, I see. Hey, how you doing, Don? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Uh, oh yeah, it sure is. It is sure is. Um, is this one of those benches that's like broken down? <laughs> broken down. Looks fine, but first thing in Chukwish stops. Um, uh, Chukwish stops building their days of Republican fell into disrepair. The benches are mostly intact. If you use a cushion, you can sit down. Oh, okay. So, I could use a cushion to rest here. I don't really need to though. Never mind then. <laughs> I like how that's a thing in this though. Like basically like uh, Dark Souls bonfires, but these ones are broken down. I gotta repair them. Or I guess it'd be closer to how Hollow Knight does their benches, right? Like some of the benches in Hollow Knight were. Uh, you, had, you had to use like the pay tolls. God, I miss Hollow Knight. Ah, I freaking love Metroidvanias. And that was such a good one. I really wanna play uh, Blasphemous 2 at some point in time. Like, the first one I was kind of scared about playing on YouTube, considering nudity. <laughs> but, um, from what I've seen, Blasphemous 2 is, uh, pretty say-so com comparatively. So, I, uh, I definitely want to play that at some point in time. We just beat Ender Lilies, though, and, like, oh, man. I, I already want to go back into a Metroidvania. I'm already feeling the urge. Feeling the itch. Discord said this is literally about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Nice. Nice, nice. Venture Rebirth, it was epic, and, uh, Ewo, oh, nice seeing you here, Alato. Indeed, indeed. Very nice, very nice. Always nice to see, uh, familiar faces. Uh, I don't know if I gotta do anything down here. Is that a bobber? A buoy of some sort? Buoy! I mean, it's very pretty down here. But, uh, doesn't exactly seem like it's all that useful. <laughs> I'll be honest. Box! Give me stuff! Give me stuff! 
You can still see over there in Calm, the, uh, the helicopters. They're kind of static, though. <laughs> oh, no, 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 they're moving now. They're moving now. Kind of some static images in the far-off distance. God. I can't help it, but, like, water graphics are always... Oh, that's really good water graphics, too. Oh, man. But, yeah, like, whenever I look at, at, at a game's graphics, right... I look at the waterline, especially like with this right here. If if the waterline were like, like raise and and lower, ah, uh, that's the good stuff. That, that that's some high quality H two O right there. Speaking of which, I need a drink. Speaking of which, I need a drinky drink. Ah, uh, but yeah, you gotta love it. I, it's it's funny that I say that though, considering, like some games. They just don't pay attention to the water, because there's not really much of a reason to, right? But then there's, like, old games like, uh, like Super Mario Sunshine. Which is probably the reason that I'm goo goo gaga over water graphics. <laughs> like, Super Mario Sunshine is, like, that was the first game my parents ever bought me whenever I was a kid. Like, I played my mom's NES, I played her, um, uh, Atari, things like that. But, like, the GameCube, that was the first thing that they got from me. And Super Mario Sunshine came with that, and, ah. Uh, I don't know, just, just the water graphics in that game just blew my mind. And, like, I, I always, like, judge modern games by how well they do water graphics. So whenever I see, like, actual waves and not just, like, a, a flat 2D image, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's high quality. So high quality. Um, how's Ender Lilies? I've had it recommended to me, but I haven't tried it yet. It was great. It was fantastic. I loved it a whole lot. It wasn't as good, in my opinion, as, like, Hollow Knight. And there was, like, some real weird, like... Movement. There was some really weird movement in uh, in Ender Lilies at the very beginning, but it makes sense, right? Like in that game, you play as a like a, a small child. You play as you, you you play as a small little girl, and um, so yeah, like it, it makes sense that she's not going to be like a professional at at dodge rolling or like jumping or running or anything like that. So like it kind of sucked, but it made sense. And then, like, as the game progressed, you got, like, all sorts of, like, crazy power-ups that, like, helped you get around a lot of things. I do still have an issue with, like, one thing, though. Like, in that game, it, it never explained how certain skills boosted your, um, your height as well. Like, there was some attack skills that you would get, and you had to use those as traversal upgrades. But, like, you had to pay attention to that. That was something that you, the player, had to pay attention to. It wasn't something that the game ever told you. So it sucked. But, you know... I don't know. It, it rewarded uh, the player that, like, paid attention. But if it wasn't for, like, Varden, uh, one of my streamer friends here, he's in the chat right now. If it wasn't for him, I'd be like, bro, how do you even get this item? I did 100% the game, though. I did completely perfect that game. Got every single item, every single boss, every single everything. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It... it it had some things that I was like, it's a little jank, a little weird. But I mean, overall, it was still a great game. Still fantastic. I love uh, a good Metroidvania, and that was definitely a good Metroidvania. So yeah, I, I would recommend it. I would definitely recommend it. So many games to play, so little time. It's a mood. It's a mood. <laughs> There's so many games that I want to, to, to stream, right? I'm big into streaming JRPGs. I, I'm, that, that's my, like, one staple. Is that I'm always going to be streaming a JRPG. Like, I'll be playing... Uh, like, this week I did Silent Hill, The Short Message, and Friday I'm going to be doing Dark Souls 2, uh, co-op Drunk Souls version, but, um, yeah, I, 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 I play all of those, like, random games, but also, this looks so important, my god, um, I always, I always do a JRPG as well, and, like, we just got done with playing a lot of the Le Legend of Heroes games, and, uh, <laughs> so now Final Fantasy came out, had to play this one. But I really wanted to play Persona 3 Reload, like, on stream. I did play through the entirety of Persona 3 Reload off of stream, in whatever free time that I had. But, uh, <laughs> I wanted to stream it. But, like, I only really have, like, three, four hours worth of streaming a day that I can do. And so, man, JRPGs in particular, it takes forever to get through them. And being limited to, like, four hours max is, uh, it's awful. What's up, Kaiju? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome on in. And so true, money flying away. Yeah. I get what you're saying. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, Don. <laughs> uh, love a good pun, though. Love a good pun. 
I'm good on you for being able to, though. I'm good on me for being able to, what? Play these games? I do enjoy. I, I love JRPGs. They are by far my favorite. By far my favorite games. <laughs> like, I, I love a good story. Like, I've played so many... I've played so many, like, first-person shooters back in the day with my friends. And, like, I don't know, it was fun and all that stuff, but, like, it wasn't all that great. Like, the fun that I was having was because I was spending time with my friends. It wasn't because of the games that we were playing. But then, like, whenever I started streaming, I, I stopped, I completely, completely cold turkeyed all of those games. So, like, no more Rainbow Six Siege, no more Call of Duty Warzone, no more Black Ops, no, none of that. I was just like, no, no more. <laughs> I'm done. I'm tired. I'm retiring. And, uh, yeah, like, it, at first it was, it was kind of rough considering I didn't have anybody coming to my streams, right? And so it's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm I'm having a good time playing games that I enjoy, but, like, you know. I like, the, the big part of it was I was enjoying my time playing the games. I need to learn to guard more. Synergy skills. Yeah, we, uh, we, we learned how to do this. Oh, that doesn't hold, that doesn't, doesn't exactly do a lot of anything. Bang, 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 bang. But, yeah, like, it, uh, and, like, as, as I streamed more and more and, like, started building more of a community, it's so much better. It's so much better than like how I used to play games. Cause like, oh that was cool. That's like a, almost a perfect parry. Oh my god! Please. Yeah, I should probably uh, heal, huh? Should probably heal. Cloud, cloud me, boy. You have cure, right? Uh, just cure. Uh, on Barrett. I really should be paying attention to this more. I should really be paying attention to my health more. Those guys are hard to evade. Like they have. They have so much, uh, like, uh, so much speed, and their, their attacks, like, they got two prongs to Hard to dodge. Hard to dodge them. But yeah, like, oh man. It's so, so much nicer being able to play the games that I want to play, while also still having a good time chatting with friends. All of my lovely community. Oh yeah, we got, uh, we got a summon now. Who do we, who's got the summon? Or do we not have the summon yet? I kind of want to do it, even though I don't really need to do it. I kind of want to do it. Nah, didn't get a summon off. <laughs> I was about to bring God out to attack this one random dog. Oh well, it's fine. These things look way too important. There's going to be something with these things. Has to. Calling it now. Oh geez, it's the Gaiju. It's the Gaiju. The Yo Gaiju. It is the dawn. Indeed, indeed. Getting all the, uh, the streamer homies coming today. Always appreciate it. Always glad I have you all around. Uh, you just love JRPGs, but I just don't have the patience and time to sing so much in th to them nowadays. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I, uh, I make the time. Though I do sometimes regret it, but at the same time I don't. Because, like, there's so many games I want to play. So, like, yeah, I want to play this, I want to play that, I want to I wanna do all of these things. But on the same hand, like, one of the big reasons that I started streaming was because I wanted to, uh, like, catalog and, like, chronicle my, uh, experiences playing games, right? So, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's been able, it's, it's been nice being able to, like, play games and being able to, like, look back at, at my entire, like, history of that. Also, I've been completely ignoring Twitch chat. I'm so sorry about that. What's up, Billy in 9 Volt? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thank you for stopping. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for stopping on. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're talking about JRPGs, and my mind just, like, the wires activated. The, the wires got crossed. The neurons got activated. I must talk about JRPGs. <laughs> oh, dear God, kill this dog for me. <laughs> yeah, right? I I, <laughs> I almost had a summon already. Also, considering I did play through the entirety of Rebirth and, um, or Remake and Integrate, I did get Leviathan and Ramu. So, I, I have two other summons as well. So, everyone in my party has got a summon. And I'm very excited about that. Freaking Leviathan, though. Ugh. I, I, I can't... I can't ever look at Leviathan the same way. Not ever since I played Final Fantasy XV. Hey, bruh. Bruh. That... Uh, bruh. 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 Hyperfixate, please! <laughs> yeah. The, the, the neurons activate. Also, my god. Today is just like... I did not sleep well last night. I don't know. There's something... Some, something about uh, this springtime has just been ruining me. It's been very warm, but it's also, like, allergies. Like, it's, I don't have my AC in my room, so, like, I, 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 room has been very hot. Especially, like, at the end of the day, considering everything that's on all the time. 
I got my computer on all the time, and then like right now I've got my like my PlayStation on, so so much uh, so much like heat is getting generated in my room. And at the end of the the day, like I I like close my door so that like I um I don't I'm not noisy for anybody else in the house. And oh yeah yeah it's uh it just makes the room even even warmer. So uh, I need to put my AC in my in my window like fast. <laughs> I need to put it in sooner rather than later, but we'll see. Right, three treasures in this area, huh? I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. Like they've been telling us about some like shack in like a swamp or something, but. Uh, I've just been vibing. I've just been vibing. We, we explore and I've been wanting to explore this map so freaking badly. I've, I've been I've been a good boy though. I've been a good boy and I've been waiting for stream to explore. I don't think I'll probably wait to explore much from this point onward, but <laughs> I at least wanted to have our first like uh, our first exploration to be on stream. Cause yeah, like I don't know. I, I I like to I like being able to like look back at all the aspects of, of playing games. Like, whenever I was I was younger, right, I played all sorts of games, and, like, I had so many experiences playing games for the first time, and I would love to be able to, like, go back and, like, remember those. Or, like, be able to, like, see those, see, like, Baby Sky's first reactions to, like, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Like, because I was so terrified of that game. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is not a terrifying game. So look at these giant mushrooms. They look so... They look so nice. What the hell? They look almost like like candy, or like I don't know. They, they, they look very approachable. Oh, it's a moogle. Wait, maybe those aren't real then. Mog. Oh, where the moogles at? Where the moogles at? Uh, uh, what, what's their little? Oh man, I forget what their little like noise. Is. It's been too long. Ah, uh, what's what's? What's the sound that the Moogles make? I can't remember. Oh, no. Mm, kind of like the older ones where you could get good experience in like 20 showers, good chunk of time without being too ridiculous. Yeah, that's kind of how this one is, though. Koopo, that's the one. That's the one that I was looking for. Koopo, Koopo. I mean, they do kind of do that like, quit as well, but like, Koopo. <laughs> that's the one I was looking for. Um, but yeah, like part one of this remake, it was actually like a 30-minute game. Like, I, whenever I played through Final Fantasy Remake, like two, three years ago, it uh, it only took me like ten streams, so about thirty hours. It was not bad. It was not bad at all. Like all things considered, although I did hear that this one's longer. But considering we got an entire like world map to explore, I feel like it's longer because of that and not necessarily story reasons. But you know what? I I love exploring, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> the new JRPGs are like eighty to hundred hours, and that's just yeah, yeah. But I mean, when it's a good story, it's really hard to like complain about it. That's that's why I'm um, like Legend of Heroes. I will always sing the praises for for Legend of Heroes, considering that game is absolutely insane. With uh, uh, that game's absolutely insane with like how well the story is written. Like I've never played a game that can go that, that can span so many entries and still be like cohesive and like makes sense. Well, gotta back it up. Look at Bear does like no damage. Bear does like basically no damage with his uh Did you just say kiss my ass? Nice. Stay classy, Bear. Stay classy. Acid shower. I'm gonna stay over here. How about that? Special delivery! No. Block for seven damage. I really need to uh there we go. You're not getting out of this. Yeah, I need to uh I need to heal Bear. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Freaking love Barrett. Oh my god. He is the best character in this game. He is the true waifu. <laughs> but yeah, like Legend of Heroes, it's it started off with like what? The Trails in the Sky games, there's three of those. And then the Crossbow games, there's two of those. Cold Steel games, there's four of those. Then there's Reverie, which is like, I I don't know, I haven't played that one yet. And now we're getting into the Daybreak series, which I don't know how many of those there are going to be, but. There's so many of them. You would think that the story would get, like, cluttered. You would think it would get, like, hard to keep up with everything, but, like, nah. The game is so... Like, they, they build on things so well that it, like... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just, like, my brain. It, like, I, I hyper-fixate on that game way too much. And so it's so good. It's so good to me. Being able to, like, re rehash with all these characters from, like, forever ago. See them again. Like, oh man. It's so nice. <laughs> 
It's why, it's why I've decided to replay all of those games on stream, despite them all being 80 to 100 hours. So my god. It's true, storytelling way too epic. It really is. What's the main intention? I thought you said Chocobo. Oh, well. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I'm sure that the, 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 uh, move was, but have like, less, uh, like, uh, they're not always gonna say Koopo. They might just be like a cool. Kind of like how, um, like Pokemon, right? They, they're, they're like, you know, Pikachu, Pika, Pika. They don't always just say their full name. I imagine that the, uh, the Moogles would be it's just the same. But yeah, my god, I, I, I love, I love Legend of Heroes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's probably a good thing that my community was like, hey, play Final Fantasy instead of Code Steel 4. You need to play something other than a Legend of Heroes game on stream. Ooh, yo, we got some Chocobo. I feel like I'm way too out here. Like, I feel like this is probably a story-related thing where I'm not gonna, like, unlock chocobos, but... <laughs> I've just been exploring. Ay ay ay. I'm not even supposed to be around here. Uh, Oliver's farm. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, here? Maybe I'm not too far off then, after all. Huh. Yeah, I've just been kind of, like, hugging the coast and then, like, exploring a little bit inside. Should probably make a beeline for that, but... My eyes see things, and then they're just like, oh, but what's that? Ooh, building over there, structure over there. Ooh, what do we got? Piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> um, but yes, but yes, but yes. How, how is everybody on, on the Twitch side? I, I'm sorry that I've got so hyper-focused on talking about JRPGs. It's just, it, it, it is what I am. I am the punk VTuber that loves JRPGs. That is uh, what you can put on my grave. <laughs> but yeah, Billy, nine volt. Hopefully your day's been going all well. I'm forgetting to heal. I'm forgetting to heal. Kind of funny how I'm not getting uh, health. Kind of funny that I'm not getting health from um, uh, leveling up. But I guess it's fine. Pretty sure that guy. <laughs> Get down, Mr. President! Dude just like took all the hits even though I was never locked on doing. I need to be locked on whenever I'm playing as Barrett. Kind of weird otherwise. Big attack. Wasn't so bad at all. Uh, you know, I guess I could, if I really want to, though, I could go, uh, yeah, like one of, yeah, this way? Yeah, if I go this way, I should probably be able to, um, go back to that farm where there was, like, a normal bench and get a free heal there. I'm stingy. I don't want to use my items or even my MP, even though <laughs> I can just restore my MP, but it's fine. Those enemies? Yeah, I think that's some, something's moving there. Uh, can I heal from this screen? It'd be kind of nice if I could just do this instead. Uh, spells, cloud, cure? Yeah, nice. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Put our uh, front line in. Mubi! Freaking adorable. Oh, that's adorable. Am I even... Am I done with the the uh, the focus shot yet? I hope so, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen the the whole like you have mastered the skill. So, uh, sinkhole. You're in trouble now. The thing literally just like dug to like hide away. Where'd he go? Oh, he just keeps digging. Oh, you can actually see Tifa and Red over there. They're, they're actually on screen. They're just all the way back there. Oh, I don't have my charge yet. Come on. Get back out of here. Come on, ATB gauge. That's what we needed. Moving on, then. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can't restore MP. Well, I figured that I could restore MP from combat, but maybe I have to use it from items or things like that. That's fine. Items or a bench. Yeah, let's go back to that Oliver's farm. I want to I wanna get a free heal. I want to get a free heal. I'm headed out for now. Gotta go rest a bit before I take the dog for a walk. It was nice to be able to stop in for once, though. And hope you enjoy. Well, thank you for stopping on by, Nix. Always glad to have you around. Always glad to see you. Hopefully you have a nice walk with the doggos. I couldn't imagine walking anything right now where, where I live. It's, it's so rainy. <laughs> but hopefully it's a nice day wherever you are at. And uh, you enjoy your walk. Give the doggo a nice good old scratch for all of us. Oh my god, these orcs are literally getting down Mr. President. They're literally acting like that. <laughs> You gotta love it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, um... 
I don't really have much of a plan for today's stream. I don't know what we're doing. Like, I, I know... Oh, I've been forgetting to upgrade my equipment as well. Whoops, said AC. Why are we not in combat anymore? What? Huh? Did I, did I leave out of the, the, the combat zone? Well, that's weird. I wasn't even running away. I wasn't even running away from them, and I still, like, lost combat. Enemy was right on top of me, and they were like, nah. Never. Never mind. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know. Usually I have, like, a like a plan going into stream, being like, okay, I want to get to this part, or I want to get to, like, the next town. I want to get through the next, like, boss. But right now, I just want to explore around. <laughs> this entire stream could very well just be me exploring around and doing the barest minimum of actual story progression. Would you guys be okay with that? Would, would you hate me if, if I uh, spent three hours just looking around and exploring things? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, so probably this way and then, yeah, like down south. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill here was like, go that way. And then I went the complete opposite way, probably. Either way, we're back here at the farm, so I'm gonna rest up. Uh, items, items, items. Brain, please work with me. Please do not be brain dead. Alright, Aerith, uh, Metal Bracer. Swap this out for the Hunter's Bangle. Plus 10 to my defense, which is a whole lot. We put her back to, like, where it actually is good. An actual decent amount of, uh, of, of defense. Granted, she shouldn't take any attacks, considering she should stay in the back, but... Well, you know. You know. Uh, not that. Equipment. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I had finished Barrett's at some point in time or another. I'll, um, I'll swap Barrett out then. I'll swap Barrett out for either Red or Tifa. Uh, I, I always never have Red in my party. I may as well... How do I... It is party, right? I thought there was a... Huh... I thought there was a, a, a button there. Okay, this one. Combat settings. That's the one. Combat settings, and then I can, uh, Aerith, you're my leader. And Barret swapping, oh my god, edit party. Barret, swap you out for, uh, yeah, red. May as well. Might as well. Put Tifa in at the end. I probably just swap around characters like that for a while. But yeah, I, I was not paying enough attention. Arcane's Ward, though, I'm pretty sure that attack that, uh, Aerith has... It's not really that good of an attack. First strike. Uh, yeah. Go on, you'll see. Here. Oh. So her attack does a, um... It, it does like a, uh... uh her, her, like, triangle is, is a teleport. Kind of like Sephiroth's one teleport, I guess. Alright, uh... Arcane Ward. On... Plow. Sure, I guess it doesn't really matter. Time to get serious. And then, I guess we'll do it again on red. Needs more magic. Needs more magic. Wait, did I not... Did, did I not do that correctly? Also, did I get closer whenever I did that one teleport? Okay, and ward yourself, I guess. Let's get serious. I remember there's something. I don't know if you know what arcane ward does. Yeah, that just kind of like teleports me. Not really all that useful then. I do like fighting with the uh, magic though, because I almost never do it. God, in my way, in my way. Uh, arcane ward, whatever. Needs more magic. That's it. How would you uh, get away? Thank you. Oh, we're about to get a, a summon. I, I want to see what this charge thing does. But um, oh, the ward shift teleports me to the arcane ward that I have placed down. Done. Well, that's interesting. No time to celebrate. <laughs> no time to celebrate, but come on. Oh, no, I did get some MP with Cloud. I don't know how I got it, but Cloud does have five now instead of four. And back at it. I need to, uh... Yeah, yeah, I need to play safe. I'll say, yeah, 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 the, the, those, those attacks. The ones with the... The, the ones with the, like, uh with the exclamation mark. Those are the ones where... I hate that double attack on that thing has. Oh yeah, I need to do double. Arcane Ward. What do I have? 
ability wise with Aerith. Like, do I have any. anything like good with her? Guys, I, I appreciate you uh, taking care of that enemy over there, but. you maybe help me out a little bit? I, I, I'm the, the spellcaster. I got arrow, my abilities. Absorbs MP. That's cool. Cane wards. Uh, it's very hard to read those when we're here. Pray. Oh yeah, that heals up everybody. Uh, whatever. Let's do it again. Arcane Ward. I'm just trying to get this this thing. Yeah, that's. It's not bad fighting as as Aerith or, or like a distance character, but like, it's not great either. Considering they are, like the enemies are very aggressive, so like they're always like up in my shit. So like being any sort of range. It's kind of difficult at the moment. Granted, that's kind of how it's always always is with uh, low-level range characters, like a, a low-level archer. It's kind of a, it's kind of hard to do anything with, but like a high-level archer is generally nigh unstoppable. So, uh, eh, probably the same with, um, with 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 Barrett and uh, Aerith for now. Mm, gonna be kind of obnoxious using them, but. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, I got another skill. What, uh, Punisher Mode Strong Attack? Or, eh, let's just go ahead and upgrade this thing, I guess. So, another Synergy skill with Cloud. <coughs> I do want to get more health, though, so I'm going to go ahead and just buy this one for red. And, uh, for you, MP. I haven't actually been using MP, so I guess, uh, that. I guess we'll get some Synergy going on. I wonder if I can use synergy skills outside of my, uh, like, like, even if they're not in my party, right? Or in my active party. That'd be pretty cool. Let's get some more HP with Barret as well. Oh, yeah, and Tifa. One more. Uh, increases damage up by unique abilities. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid across the board. Fire, damage, basic ground. That's pretty good, too. Uh, Tifa's got some really good skills just in general. Passive strength upgrades. Gotta love it. But sure, yeah, that, that, that's fine. That's fine. That'll work. All of our HP and SP has been restored. It's important to make sure they've got I want to look to see how much of that I've done. Because I want to make sure that I'm doing the correct thing as well while I'm doing my equipment and all that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aerith is almost done with whatever I'm working with with her. To so that's cool. That's good. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. Nice to be nice and plump. Oh, doggo. Oh, little doggo. I was mentioning it before, but it's so funny how Final Fantasy... Like I was mentioning it in the first stream. It's so funny how Final Fantasy does... Uh, like... <laughs> it, it does all of the, like, like... Mix of modern and, like, fantasy... Old school... All of that, like... We, we got, like, these rural towns. Like, very rural towns. We got, like... Some, like, castle-type uh, areas and whatnot. A lot of very, like, old-style everything. Very medieval. And then, you also just got people walking around in tuxedos, or... We got vending machines. It's like, it's such a weird mix. And we got just, like, a, like trucks running around as well. It's such a, a weird combination of... Of, uh, like, present day and, like, far past. I kinda like it, though. I, 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 do, I do enjoy the way it is. Not take all the time? Yeah, I'm sure of make you. <laughs> My boy trying to catch up in Legend of Heroes. Speaking of which, have you, um... Ha have you played any more since the last time that we have talked? Have you, uh, gotten any farther? Because Miku is playing Cold Steel 3. So, uh... Everything that we just experienced, he is, uh, going to be experiencing for himself. Because he, he's been lurking. He was lurking in all of my streams, so as to not spoil himself with uh, with all that. Last chance to back off. Last chance to back off. But yeah, it's kind of hard to attack with the... Uh... Wow, it's weird. Kind of hard to... Uh... Oh, that is not ideal. I have to, to do the Arcane Ward. If I mash the button, it doesn't do anything. I'm not sure what the Arcane Ward does. I'll take that. It's a lot of block. I don't know what I did there, to be honest, though, with you. Try using it. Try using it. What is hitting me? I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure what's what's hitting me right there. And you know what spells? Let's go with some arrow. You know, maybe I didn't want to do that. Master of the Arcane Wind 
reward ability, though. That's pretty cool. If that's the Let's case, I'm going to uh, fight as, as you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I actually have not fought as... Um, I have not fought as Red, considering he is... Um, he was at the very end. He was at the very end of, of the game. What what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing? That looked pretty uh that looked pretty meaty of an attack. I don't know what attack I'm supposed to be doing. I am enjoying uh That wasn't so bad. I am enjoying red more than I've been enjoying Aerith. <laughs> or Baird for that matter. So slow with the attacks. But yeah, yeah, weapon mastery, so we got Aerith is now mastered of her weapon. So let's change that around. What do we what do we got? Uh, equipment, red, Stardust Ray, okay, and Dive Kick. So Stardust Ray and Dive Kick. And I'm gonna swap, uh, what's the button again? Uh, it was combat settings, right? Yeah. Did I press something different? I don't know. Uh, yeah, said you as party leader and Aerith swap you out for Tifa. Why did... Okay, weird. Weird, weird, weird. Mm, got the same arc. Hey, nice. Maybe we're gonna... Uh, you gonna look? No worries. No worries, Minky. No worries. But listen, yesterday I gotta keep up my two to three hours a day quota. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, no worries. Appreciate the lurk, Minky. Appreciate the lurk. We're gonna try and get to uh, some actual areas. Actual story progression, but... I don't know. I I'm heading in the correct direction, but I might see something that, like, completely derails me. And also, like, I'm fighting all of these guys. What's, um... It's triangle, okay. The attack that I gotta do is triangle. It also requires two. Wow. Although, red is very fast. Stardust Ray! Bro! That is a huge attack! Oh my god! Proficiency bonus gain. Well, I'd hope so. Alright, hold up. Red is actually a lot of fun to fight as. Wow. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Like, he's so fast that, uh, he builds up his ATB gauge real quickly. And, like, just having that speed is a lot of fun. And then that, uh, Stardust Ray attack that I did, my god. Freaking giant Zeta Flare. Not quite that impressive, but still. Like, it's, it was up there. That's a pretty, pretty cool fighting. I, uh, I don't know, I, I'm probably gonna stick with Cloud whenever I've maxed out everybody's weapons, but... Yeah, it's going to be hard not to, like, play around with that a little bit, considering that was... That was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. I like it. Also, it feels like nobody's really using their ATB gauge whenever I'm not controlling them. I wonder if that's a setting that I can change. Like, maybe it is, maybe it's not, I don't know. That's a maze we'll save. It has been... It's already been an hour? Whoa! It's already been an hour and a half. I, I saved that. I was like, oh, it's been like 30 minutes or so. Nothing crazy. It's been an hour. Okay. <laughs> All right, video games. All right. Um. Oh, it's raining now. I looked outside and it's raining cats and dogs. Raining reds. Raining blood. Uh, what am I looking at? I don't remember. What did I come in here for? I saved my game. And I don't remember what else I was looking at. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To see if the freaking characters will... Uh, attack themselves. So, gameplay. Let me see. Issuing commands. I mean, yeah. Character commitments. Remember. Issuing commands. Uh, I don't know what the cursor thing is about. Combat controls guide display. I mean, sure, I guess. Doesn't really show anything that says, like, go off and, and, and do your whole thing. Uh... No, I don't know. Cause it would be nice if, um, if they would use their own commands. Cause I mean, <laughs> I don't like micromanaging in in these type of games. Like you can see from the way I played like Mass Effect, right? I played through that entire game where I was just like, hey, they uh, the enemies were or, or like my friends are doing something. But yeah, like that dodge that Red has. I'm so fast. I'm so fast here. I've mastered it already. Sadly, they were not in the attack that I was I was doing, but it's fine. Uh, time to swap over to Tifa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured. Oh, yeah, depending on... I forget how Tifa works exactly, but, like... 
she she like oh it's unbridled rage right so like her triangle attack will change depending on like what level of unbridled rage that I do I think it goes up to like three levels give us fun players as well mm. the melee characters are the fun ones to play at Wow so surprised so shocking I don't know maybe I want to stick with um, Tifa and red then because I mean they, they are the ones that the game like defaulted me to right they were like, hey, you want to play as these two? And I was like, uh, alright, do I though? Do I? Also, I need to change my later again. Kind of wish that I would save whoever I end up fight with as my leader, but I guess that would also get annoying. If I do want to do some, like, micromanaging. Not that I really probably will ever do that, but if I do. If I do. That purple chest over there has got my attention, but... Also, what is this? Chocobo Ranch! This is, like, horror game that I've stumbled upon, all of a sudden. No sign of Shinra. Or really anything. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Junon! Sure. Why not? Why are we going there? You trust these rotting hulks? No, not really. I mean, we could. Let's not. <laughs> then maybe we swim it. Let's, let's not do that, Baird. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. Hey, there we are. Now we're we'll talking. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. <laughs> so just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird. <laughs> I mean, I know I look like a chocobo, but... Well... Can we rent some birds? <laughs> can we? You two are too adorable, oh my god. Hey, you gonna head out for an errand? No worries, nine folk. Thank you for stopping <laughs> on by. Always glad to have you around. Good luck with your errand. And yeah, hopefully we get to catch you later. Uh... Like, probably another two hours or so. I'd imagine. We either go for another two hours, or, uh... The next, like, good... Or not the next one, but, like, uh, a good stepping point around the two-hour mark, so... Eh, you know. You know how it is. You know how it is. Yes, hopefully we get to see you later on. But, yeah, enjoy your, your time out there. It is it is springtime, right? So, like, the weather is getting real nice, and, uh... Yeah, like, going out and doing things. is like, I actually want to go outside and do things now. Which is honestly probably part of the reason... I just got the weapon that I could have bought. a hey, yo! I'm pretty sure this is the item that I could have bought in in Calm, but I couldn't afford it. And now I just have it? I hope not, because if that's the case... Bruh. Imagine if I did buy it. That would have sucked. But yeah, hell yeah. Go ahead and equip that. Keeps all of my material the same way. Love to see it. And what is this weapon's deal? Uh, Firebolt Blade. Okay. So I should probably be sw swapping these things around a little bit. See, I have Chakra on, like, everybody, except for Aerith, who I have Prey. And... I think that's everybody, everything. And then, like, my circles generally, for most of my characters, like, a upgradable t attack. Like, like, a Unbridled Rage or, like, Iron Skin, things like that. Whereas Square and Triangle are, like, my... Square is, like, my, like, distance attack. And, like, Triangle is like, my, like, AoE or, like, right there on the... On the in front of me attack. Um, but yeah, what do we got with the uh, fire blade? Can you use while well airborne? Cool. Sure, why not? I do want... Oh man, I really do want a, um... A lot like mug. I, I want to use mug. But at the same time, it's kind of... You know. <laughs> yeah, I've already kind of maxed out what I've got. Wait, what, what does Maximum Fury do? Hold up. Can I even, like, read what these do? Uh, since they be so yeah no no that's uh, those two I should swap around, steel skin and maximum fury yeah. I swapped most of them out but not all of them. The arcane ward what does what does this even do? What does this even do? Uh oh all spells will be cast twice okay so that is really good. All right. Uh lightning magic over a wide area without expending MP. Ooh. Magic to anything absorbs MP. You know what, let's go, let's go ahead and swap, um, Sorcerer Storm out for Rolling Thunder. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. I feel like that would work out pretty well. 
But yeah, like that that's kind of like my how I'm going to like keep the the skills so that I'm kind of balanced there. That my R1X will always be a heal. My R1 circle will be a like power up attack something that doesn't do damage but it will like power me up for the next level. And my triangle will be like my big one and X will be like my like more uh uh Oh, the, the, the smaller attack. The, the, the attack that's good, but like better than a normal attack, but not as good. The cheaper version. So basically like one bar and two bars. Not that I have two bars on some things yet, but you know, we'll see. Actually, how much does this take? It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me, unless it says... Does it say on like these things? That like, hey, this is a, an attack that costs two. Yeah, okay. So it says in the description if it, if it costs two. Understood. Naruho do. Okay. Uh, yeah. With that then, I got that new fire attack, and with Tifa, I've got her dive kick. So, uh, I think I'm so rocking Tifa for now, though. I do love the look of the blades. Like, I was saying that the last stream that I want, I, I kind of wish that I didn't swap my weapons around. It's like, it it's weird to me that I don't have the Buster Sword when I'm playing as Cloud. But on the same hand, I am a fan of weapons, uh, of melee weapons. I, I love seeing different weapon designs. And so, I'm really, like, like looking at this like, oh yeah, that looks really nice. It looks really good. But it is kind of, like, strange to me that I'm not using Angel's Buster Sword. Like, God, uh, it's just such a strange thing. I got a ruby? Just some random area in the swamp. I found a ruby. Apparently I should go to the swamp more often. What's with that Mako, like, trail? Is it because, like, this is the area that I'm at now? Eh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I still wish I was able to, like, swap around, t depending on who was my leader. Because, I mean, like, Cloud's not even really that much of a leader-type character, right? Like, he's, uh... He, he was, like, the bodyguard. He was the hired merc in the first one. So, like, he's not... Like, the, the, the core center of this group. Like, if anything, I'd say, like, Tifa would be, like, the, like, true main character of, of Final Fantasy VII, considering, like, she's the one that, that works with Avalanche, but she knows Cloud. Like, she's the one that's kind of, like, keeping everybody together. This is kind of how it feels to me. We do follow Cloud's story, though. Like, whenever the characters get split up, it is Cloud that we're following, so... You know, it is what it is. It's another one of those uh, Chocobo benches. I don't really want to use these if I don't gotta, I'll be honest with you. Like, it's, um... You're dead. It, it's kind of, uh, whatever. It feels just kind of whatever. Dave Kipko! Oh my god, that did so much damage! Tifa! Tifa, please! Also, yeah, Tifa's feeling really good as well, considering she's, uh, very quick. She's very quick with her with her attacks. Bro, these dexterity characters are, are really showing you up. Like, Cloud, you got this big buster sword. You can swing the thing around pretty quickly, but... I feel like the characters that are just attacking with, like... Claws, fangs, and... <laughs> their fists are doing a little bit more damage. They're being a bit more efficient than you are, buddy. I saw that monster back there and I wanted to fight it. What am I... Toxa rat? Cool. But yeah, like... It's nice to have your abilities swapped around so that you know what you're doing at all given times, right? Because, I mean, it's, uh, I don't have time to really, like, look down to see, like, what am I doing? Weapon ability master. Hell yeah. But, yeah, I don't really have time to, like, look over there, because those are shortcut keys. They're ones that don't freeze the time or anything like that, so. Just knowing what they do is so much more ha uh, handy, so much more helpful than, <laughs> like, like, Swapping all the characters around and be like, okay, what, which one's this again? Like, oh yeah, for Cloud, it's these buttons do these attacks. But I don't really have to think about it that much whenever i got everybody set up more or less the same. Also, I need to Take swap over. back to Cloud. Back to Cloud. I was going to swap this around, but it's fine. Oh, that looks so cool, though. Oh, that looks so cool, though. Well, level up. Nice. But yeah, like, the, um... The dodging is kind of hard to do. Like, with uh, with Tifa and Red, the dodging is pretty simple. But with Cloud, he's better off 
doing uh, like the parries or doing just regular guards. But with the uh, Tifa and Red, you can actually do some really good dodge rolls and get away from enemies, it seems. Which is making me... I really want to play as them more than I want to play as Clout. <laughs> then again, I also played as Sephiroth the entire beginning. I might not even play as Clout on this, then all things considered. I might uh, leave it up to... Uh, to uh, to everybody else. Right, combat settings. Why does it got to be so, like, convoluted? So many menus. So many things to navigate through. Oh, but hey, yeah, we're here now. I mean, we was already here at one point in time, because I'm very bad at following the line. I like exploring. Hey, Pleasure Bill! Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome <coughs> to my humble ranch. Mm, that was fast. Managed to get your truck fixed? I'd imagine so. Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Which time? The first time or the second time we went through? Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any no, chance? No, they look so cute. Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. Back in my day. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. Aye, what about the gents? You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? I'm wondering that, too. Uh... <laughs> they're so adorable, oh my god. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float... While their limber legs can outrun a motorboat. I, I don't believe Not it. Even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. True. Nature's two-legged limousine. <laughs> so can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Bill and Billy. Oh boy, that won't get confusing at all. Alright. I guess it makes sense why we wasn't able to come in here then, if this is where Bill lives. And we was not able to, uh... He was still over there working on his on his truck. Maybe that truck's not going to be a fast travel service then. I don't know. Kind of felt like that, but I guess not. It's kind of weird that we skipped through that though. Like, there's a whole section of how we got from Midgar to Calm. That we just didn't acknowledge. <laughs> like, at all. We, uh... Like, there's some weird cutscenes that went on, but... If, if anything, it only made... Gave us more questions. It doesn't make sense about those that either. Howdy. Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Pops. <laughs> yeah, right? No more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. Yeah, right. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. Oh, they're so cute. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. Uh huh. For a price, of course. Uh huh. Which is ten grand each. God damn. <sighs> the thing is, we're broke. We don't have that kind of money, or any really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, well, a grand's a lot better. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Uh -huh. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. Nice. Hey, sir? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. He's just like me then. For real, for real. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Nice. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. I called it, though. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. No, she's cute. <laughs> Kids a born businessman. Right. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Rearing. Hmm. Alright, sure. Sure, sure. 
Me a classic. I can't afford that. Time to do a cut or time to do a uh, a side mission to to get the thing that I need. Timeless rod. Hey yo, we got another one for air. Why? <laughs> There's so much collision in this game. Oh my god, everything's breaking. I'm sorry. Also, I did steal sorry some stuff. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good I businessman suppose, philosophy then. He's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Left. <sighs> They're dead! Are you guys from Midgar? Sort yeah, of. the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, yeah. not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. I do remember him. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. Hmm. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? Why are you stopping me? thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Oh, damn. Chloe. That's none of these good folks' business. But they get help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. We don't care oh, that much. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. Oh, hell yeah. They Thank you. They his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Maybe. Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. Gil, no that's what it's called. But if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. Golden plumes? So be sure to hand them over if you do. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Cool. Stuff. What do I... What do I got then? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any golden plumes. Shinra avian helmet? Breastplate and greaves. Is this body armor? Or is this just for like style? Like, are, are my chocobo gonna like actually be. I mean, I'd imagine it wouldn't be too crazy if we, if we were getting into fights with our chocobos, considering. Come on, we uh. We get into fights everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Too much trouble. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, um. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't really want to fight. I don't want my chocobo to fight. I don't want him to get hurt. That'd make me feel bad. Make me feel bad. I didn't mind too much with Torrent and like Elden Ring, considering he was a ghost. So like, he wasn't really real. <laughs> Timeless Rod. Yeah. Chrono. Egg. I guess. Charming stuff carved from a millennial old tree, and it was just in this random shop that I was able to steal for free. I mean, borrow indefinitely. Better than what I got as well. Should probably also just sell my old stuff, huh? I don't... Because, I mean, I got Arcane Ward, so... And this is better in every other way, shape, and form, so... It's not really much of a reason for me to, uh... Keep that, right? Also, I should probably put... Aerith back in my party, then. Uh, alright, so Aerith... Red or Tifa? Uh, Ladies' Night, let's go! A lovely lady around each arm... Everyone's gonna be wishing for Cloud to die in his sleep. Ha! Uh, but yeah, I also have... Yeah. Uh, weapon skills. I can swap these around somewhere else as well, so I don't even know why this... Menu exists, but whatever. Uh, consecutive attacks, HTB, charge, and form actions. Uh, let's go with ATB. I don't usually go with Punisher all that often. Only whenever we, like, break a big enemy. And... Uh... Hold up, hold up though. I do kind of want to see... No, this one's different though, because uh, weapon ability damage plus 5%. Unless I can, like, unequip that? No, I can't unequip that, so. Like, the only things that I can equip on this one are these two. Kind of weird. But yeah, like, whenever I was reading this, it, says, it only says uh, manually set, set weapon skills. So it makes me think that it's only those things. The, these, these things that I can equip. So. Uh, I don't know. Though I do have a bunch of SP. Though I'm not sure what all that's about either. Uh, but yeah, upgrade weapons. Uh, but yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure if I go here to my equipment and all that. Yeah, 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 like right here as well, like with my materia. I can just equip them here as well, so. Kind of makes it pointless that that menu even exists. Fire, ward, ah, the ward's really good. I'll put the ward on. Um, and then yeah, the hunter's bangle. Good to go. What what, what is the the weapon of Chrono? I guess. Okay. Uh, combat settings. What does the I guess do? 
Abilities. Uh, races bear the damage is temporarily freezes foes who attempt to strike you. Well, that's pretty cool. We'll, um... I feel like I want to keep Soul Drain on her. But then again, it's only MP. Uh, <laughs> do I want to get rid of Arcane Ward? I don't know, man. I don't know what I want to get rid of. Thing about only having four skills. Not a whole lot of things going on. Eh, sure. We'll put that on there for now. And yeah, we'll, we'll leave it with that. Uh, I guess I'll stick with Cloud for now. Because I still got his attack, but... Yeah, we'll uh, be moving on that way. But yeah, I caught him. Totally caught him. I saw those... those uh, right, Pico. Where'd you run off? Pico? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some traps. Oh, no. I, I like Pico better than Pico. It has like a funny... Uh, uh, a funny, like, pun name on top of just, you know, the name itself. Oh, uh, whatever. Oops. That kid, though, I I'm, I'm enjoying how, like, full of life all the characters are in this. Like, they're a little, uh, <laughs> they're a little silly. They're, they're not being all that, that serious. So they're, they're a little over the top with their animations and with their reactions. It's pretty adorable. Pretty adorable, not gonna lie. Ah, right, let's take a little rest. Hey, HP and MP fully restored. I don't know why a blue bench is more comfortable than a, uh, a, a like a brown bench. That paint makes all the difference, I suppose. What do we got? I'll buy a cushion, sure, as well. Is there anything that I can just see all of the, um, the sales? Oh, I guess it, show, it shows me, like, what is on sale. Yeah, like, there's two things on sale. I mean, I may as well, right? May as well buy those, those steel. I do want to have steel, but I don't know, because, ah, uh, that'll be a whole thing. You know what, maybe I give it to Cloud, because he has Kira instead. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll just, like, set magic to, or, um, and I won't worry about Chakra. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how, how this works out. Uh, Punisher mode, HP 200, and Ice Magic. I mean, I want to use that too. That seems pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of these skills though, and it's kind of... Like, I'm getting a lot of skills. Hopefully, I don't know, my partners use it. Or, like, I guess if I know I'm going to be getting into a fight. Like, if I'm in, like, a volcano or whatever. Should probably, like, equip some, like, ice skills and whatnot. XMP by 3, that's so little. Jet stream, that's wind magic. Yeah, sure, why not? But yeah, I'm really hoping that my team will use these skills themselves. Uh, only thing I can use with Tifa is this one. So don't mind if I do. Uh, Barrett, only thing I can do with you is uni or United Refocus. Sure, temporarily charges three ATB. Ooh, oh, I remember that though. Yeah, I remember that being a thing. Overfang. Cool. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, like, I'm feeling like I'm getting a lot of skills and I'm not. I don't really have that many. <laughs> like, options to use them. Unless I brought out my command wheel and was just like, okay, time to go now. Time to go! Alright, but yeah, yeah, we saw these, these chocobo tracks. And I, I saw them, I was like, yeah, there's totally gonna be, like, a mission where I'm gonna have to, like, follow these tracks somewhere. I didn't expect it to be this quickly in the story, but... I mean, hey, I'm not gonna complain. If I get a free chocobo this way... Also, I like how they just said that, like, hey, yeah, we were missing a chocobo. If you find him, he's yours. Like, for, for, for free? Hey, yo, and you're just telling me this? I felt like you tried to keep that hush hush and try to find him yourself. Well, that was easy. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Hell yeah! Wait, which one is it? There's three of them. The one with the saddle? Alright. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. True. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, wrangling a chocobo. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of spotting him, press circle to roll out of sight. So distract your boys by throwing stones to pick up. L1 to aim and square to throw. There's a whole freaking thing. Uh, do I wanna... I can't... What? <laughs> I can't, um... Uh, pick up a, uh, a stone right now. Well, that's just faster to move that way anyways. Approach the target without being spotted. I mean... I just like... Sure. Minigame checkpoint updated. Proceed with the... Ch oh. I guess I can't... 
get spotted by that one either. Kind of cringe. Can I... It said I could pick up stones and whatnot, but it's not really letting me do that. Oh, okay, I see. Had to actually pick up a, uh, a, a rock. Uh, I understood. Yeet! That is a boulder! Oh my god! Eh. Alright, I'm just... I feel like if I roll again, it would be bad, so... My... Triangle. Gotcha! Up we go! I love that you was able to roll to, like, not get sighted. But, I mean... Good bird. It was just the best way to move forward. Hey, yeah, obtained two golden plumes! Hell yeah! Pico! Pico, pico! No. I can't move the camera, thank you. I got a beat for you or whatever. The guy shell green. Quee! Aw, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> really is, though. Hmm. You know, they are kind of similar. They kind of are. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cloud, I wouldn't be upset about that. What does he want now? Basically a confession that Tifa and Aerith want to ride him. <laughs> hey, yo. Still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. I'll get more, don't worry. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> <laughs> Off they go. Back to the ranch it is then. Nah. Come on. You got those golden plumes as well. And those are they just wild? Chocobos? Because, I mean, I don't know. I feel like... What are they doing here? I feel like we could take those as well if we really wanted to. Like, domesticate them. Like, I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> we have the means at our disposal. But whatever. Eh, I suppose it's fine. If all we need is the one. Which doesn't make any sense whatsoever, considering... There's, uh... <laughs> there, there, there's five of us. Granted, one of us is a dog. I don't know how that's going to work out at all, but... Eh, guess we'll see, huh? Guess we will see. Now, right, do we still have to pay for the, the Chocobo, even though we brought him back? Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Aw, they are so cute, though. Oh, my God. Now does it. Hmm. Hmm. Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Cool. That's right. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. <laughs> yeah, Once that's he's fair. Out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't you don't get right. in front of a wild I'll animal. Prep his gear and all that. Or a so domesticated animal. And their food. All right. I'm gonna talk to your sister first, though. I got more <laughs> golden plumes. I don't want to go out this way. Oh God, it's you again, Chadley. Hey there. Is that his name? What a pleasant yeah, surprise. Yeah, Chadley. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I do. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Did a bunch of VR stuff Your with him. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Glad to help. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> hey. Probably, though. I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. I kind of forgot about that, though I'll be honest. your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. Nah. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. <laughs> now, the whole world's my laboratory. Amazing. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes... Though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. Oh, here we are. They were here we are. They constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. Nah, it's gonna be us, huh? The more huh? towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. I'm gonna make the strongest the AI in the world, huh? Survey, I might I'm sure this be fine. be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. I mean, of course. We've already been to like three of them. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? 
That's your first target. It's right there. Can't you do that one yourself? And this will activate it. The hell is this? Obtained to the Chad module? <laughs> As the tower's close by, allow me to accompany you. Okay, cool. Show me how to do this. The Chad module, though. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I remember this kid. He, um... Uh, like, he was the one that we, we would always do. Like, we kill X amount of monsters and then report back to him. And, uh, like, eventually that's how we got, like, the summon materia. He was able to do, like, fights against Ifrit and are. Shiva and all those. I was new it, though. These things look way too important just to be nothing. <sighs> what am I looking at? I sure. It's like it was made for it. I swear, though, if this actually, like, fills up my map some. <laughs> it is survey data, so... I guess we'll see, huh? God, I want a monocle like that. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. We are looking through his monocle, right? How are we up in the sky now? That's fine. Uh... That, that fog of war is going to go away, right? Oh, it didn't go away, but After it did show us some things. Okay. I have devised a new name for this type of research. Eh? I call it World Intel. That checks out. World Intel. All right. Give me the data whenever I activate those I things. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. Mm. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize... I want us to become research partners. Again? But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Uh, develop material, towers, combat simulator. Yeah, what about the combat simulator? Are you, is that still active or what? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real world location. Nah. That's the combat simulator. Uh, yeah, I know what it is. Or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not. It will never be obsolete. Never. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. So you're saying I can still use it? I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one. The tower and colossus known as Titan. Ooh. Engage him at your leisure. I will Do indeed. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Uh... Specific intel related tasks? Yeah, are we doing those again? I'd imagine. Which particular task would you like to learn about? I just wanted to know if we were doing them again. That's a lot. Life spring surveys? Those are those things that we've been visiting, right? Like we saw one in the in the back, uh, in, in the past, in that like flashback. We also saw one this stream, I kinda like ran in there. Crystal analysis? Proto proto relic salvaging? I mean that's easy enough. Analysis. Give me what, what's this? In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Mm -hmm. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me: that of summons. You and me both. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. Ooh. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Nah, I feel like the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. I noticed. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Uh, fire and ice materia? Bro, really both of them? Oh, that's cool. Autocast materia? How's an ally to automatically use... Spells with the linked material when not actively controlled during battle. That is massive. Oh my god, that'll be amazing. Oh hell yeah. Like having cure and that together. Oh, but then again, having everything in that together. It allows you to turn enemies into items with morph. Enemies whose health is found below a certain item can be defeated in this fashion. Bro, that is messed up. Like you're just like fighting a dog and all of a sudden you're like, become potion. That is. What the hell? It allows an ally to use unique abilities when not actively controlled. It will also use umbrella strength when not actively controlled if this material has been equipped. Oh, so this is what I need for them to use their abilities. Because I was wondering, it's like they're not using any abilities whatsoever. And it kind of sucked. But if I can like have 
I kind of want to give two of these then. Ten to make those? Yeah. I want... I want... Oh, I... What am I looking at? Then Down there in the bottom left, there's something. And I thought... Oh, it's 20 now. It costs 20 to make the, the, the second one. Oh, I see. Well, let's do the autocast then. Because, like, that's cool. Fire and ice materia. The morph is <laughs> kind of messed up sounding, but I like it. But these ones, the auto cast and the auto, or the auto cast and the auto unique abilities, those sound amazing. Also, welcome back, Minkyu. Welcome on back. Glad to have you. Glad to see you. Hopefully, you had a nice time running your errands or, or whatever it is you was uh, doing. But yeah, I, I that's that's. Really I wish nice. you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Okay. Oh, look, he's got a little like Roomba thing. Combat similar updates. Yeah, so. We did this before in the first one, where I was able to fight things. So yeah, I can probably fight Titan, and if I beat him, I will get the uh, the the uh, ability to summon him, which would be quite nice. And yeah, so like these these giant tower things, they are basically like sink towers from like Assassin's Creed or any Ubisoft game ever. <laughs> Alright, but that's really nice. It kind of sucks that I have to equip uh, these things on. Uh, I don't think anything freaking matters. But it kind of sucks that I have to uh, equip the auto materia and all that stuff, but I guess it's fine. Um, yeah, um, you know what? Let me uh, let me swap some things around. So for cloud, I want you to get rid of your healing. Just get rid of that for now. I, okay, can I remove? There we go. And then I'm just gonna swap everything out for now. You know what? Just completely get rid of everything. Get rid of it all. We're going to swap things around. Okay, so I want to put... Yeah, that, that's the link one. So I want to put autocast materia and healing materia there. So Aerith will always be healing us up, which will make her a lot more useful. Um, And then I also really want to just put on the uh, the auto unique abilities. Because, my god, I, I, I need this on everybody all the time. <laughs> I want them to be able to use their abilities. Kind of sucks I'd have to use a materia slot to make them use their abilities, but... Man, it would be so much nicer to have this on. I, I had a sweaty time, was able to resist the temptations of candy on sale and having extra chips. A hey, nice, nice. Health. Think you chose health today. Uh, these are all not linked up. No, just fine, though. Um, I forget what I had with Cloud. I can't remember if I had, like, like, like which attacks... He was better with with his book. Time to look back. Time to min max some things. Cause yeah, we have. Uh, where is the book? Can I even look at that right now, or do I have to like go to a um, a thing to see what I have? In yeah, the folios and manuscripts, I can't even open this thing up right now. Great. All right, I gotta go to a thing then. Uh, there's one around here somewhere. Down we go. <laughs> But yeah, Chocobo's eating up a storm. We got some uh, golden plumes. We met Chadley, so we're now able to make materia and fight uh, summons, get more summons. We also have all of these like things to explore around at now. <laughs> all right, but yeah, Cloud, what do you have? You have wind and uh, ice. Wind and ice for Cloud. I'm not going to be able to remember this. Oh, wind and lightning for Aerith. Uh, ice and fire for Tifa. I'm not going to be able to remember these. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to start with one of them. Right, so, wind and ice for Cloud. Wind and ice. So, material and equipment. And then set material. Wind and ice. So, yeah, we'll put some ice. Put some wind. And... Honestly, you know what? I could throw steel on here, considering I'm probably going to be using steel. I'm going to be using cloud as much as I can. I'm going to try to. I don't know if I'm actually going to end up doing that, but whatever. Extend input timing window for precise defense? For precision defense? What does that even mean? Is there a perfect guard? I didn't even realize there was a perfect guard. That'd be pretty useful to have then, on him. Sure. Um, do I? W w wait, what do I even have? What do I even have on... So I have fire and lightning. I don't have any other... Uh, of the, of the, the material. So, fire and lightning. Uh, I probably want to just keep wind... Or keep healing on Aerith. So, instead, I'll just give her... 
What's her HP? So, yeah, by far, Aerith has got the lowest amount of HP. So, I'll throw HP up Materia. Give her a plus 100, get her over the 1,000 benchmark. And, like, I want to use that, but, like, she also has that as a skill. I'm, I'm so confused about Chakra and Prayer, considering I have these as skills, but I also have them as Materia. I don't understand. I don't understand what that is. I mean, I could throw Prayer on her. I, I don't know if... Because, yeah, like, with, um, with Aerith, the combat settings, I have Prey. I just have this. I just have this this thing. I also have, you know, steel and chakra and I have all these things. I don't know why... Like, I have to... Maybe, maybe I, I have them here, but I can't actually use them? That'd be really weird. It'd be really weird if, if that was the case. Um... Oh, it is grayed out! You know, if, you're, if we're looking at this, it is grayed out, so maybe I can't use this. Very strange how it shows up in my screen if I can't even use it, but whatever. Also, all of these as well. I mean, spells. Huh. Super strange how it's showing me things that I have, quote-unquote, but I can't actually use. Okay, well, if that's the case, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give, uh, Tifa Chakra, considering it just makes sense. That's what she had in the first game, so makes sense to keep her with that. Um, Barret's only got two slots, wow. Uh, alright, so I'll probably give him Fire Eyes. I think he had Fire. Memory serves, he had fire. Um, but I guess I should check that, huh? Guess I should check that. So, Barret and uh, Red. What do they have? Uh, this one. Yeah, fire for Barret. And we have wind on Red. Which is not exactly ideal, considering we don't have any <laughs> wind. No, 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 not that one. Not that one. The thing about JRPGs, there are always so much of, of this downtime. Like, part of the 100-hour experience is spending hours in here, making sure you got everything set up correctly. Okay, so we got lightning and poison. Who do I have that does lightning? Does anybody have lightning? Does, does, does Tifa? Does Tifa have uh, lightning, or is it only Aerith? Uh, Icy Impulse, Fiery Impulse... Might? Yeah, it looks like only Aerith has Thunder. It's kind of cringe considering I wanted to use... I wanted to have her to use the, um... The healing and, like, focus on that, but... I mean, I guess it's fine, though. Uh... Yeah, he's got Fire. So Tifa, Materia... What do we got? We got, uh, Lightning, we got Poison, and we got Assess. Sure, we'll go with a, um... We'll go with Poison, and we'll go with Assess. I don't know. May as well. And then with Red, give him Lightning. And is that ev everything? Is that all my... Yeah, it's everything that I got equipped right now. Red does not have a whole lot to his name. But that's fine. That's fine. Alright, sure. That'll uh, work for now. But yeah, now we can go around and like explore all these areas, which I really want to do that. Like, there's a part of my brain, right? Every time that I've ever played, um, like, Assassin's Creed or any Ubisoft game, I always go to all of these synchronization towers first, right? I always go to all of these, uh, th th these, these points. So, like, I really just want to go through and, like, go to that thing. I've already killed the monsters there, but, like, I want to go there and I want to see what it's got, what it'll give me. Go back over here to this one. Like, they, these are always the things that I go to first. Like, I pretty much clear out the entire map. And just do things like that. Which, I, 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 there's, it's so, it's so back and forth for me right now, considering, oh, we got a fiend there as well, apparently. And something up here. Phenomenon. Uh-huh. Okay. And, expedition. Is that just gonna be like a, uh, one of these things, maybe? Hmm. But yeah, like, I, I know that, like, it's not going to be all that entertaining watching me go from, like, one point to the next point, just, like, filling out the map. But at the same hand, they're probably, because, like, we've been having, like, little moments of talking. So, like, there's part of me that's like, ah, uh, I want to do this on stream because I, I want to see everything that they have to say. But at the same time, I, I also know that I should probably focus on story while on stream. And then off stream, I can just go around and explore all of these things. <laughs> 
Ah, the problem. Ah, the, the, the problem of, uh, open-ended video games. It's also another reason why I think Elden Ring might be a bit... Like, I don't think I'll ever stream Elden Ring. Despite the fact that I love Elden Ring, it's... It's, it's got too much open-endedness to it. It's a lot of fun to just play, but as far as, like, a stream perspective, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm definitely more of the the, the type of streamer that, like, focuses on gameplay, on, on, like, the story, right? Also, look, there's, like, grass up here in the sky. 10 out of 10 game. 10 out of 10. <laughs> But like, I don't know, those are nice, those are nice, like, Zatsu times. Like, when, like earlier this stream, whenever we were just, like, walking around and talking about JRPGs. Oh, right. Um, we were talking about JRPGs and, uh, just, you know, vibing. We are just vibing. It was a good time. Oh, everybody wants to talk with me right now. I was wondering why nobody was following me. That's cool. Uh, maybe they don't want to talk with me. Maybe they don't want to talk with me after all. Nobody wants to talk with me. They hate me. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not much on. Uh, I, I'm not much of a, like a Zatsu type streamer. I'm more video game like story. Like, it's, it's in my tags. I am uh, interactive with chat, of course, but I'm also very immersive in the story hey, and in the game. Timing. Pico's all prepped. Hi. But first, here. What is this? You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. Hell yeah. Call it. Call it. We was going to have some sort of whistle. It's always a whistle. R1 to use your choco whistle. Summon your bird to your side while out exploring. And re re only can call a chocobo in a region once you've wrangled that region's bird. Oh. So, who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Hi. Kind of want to, uh, yeah, you, you have fun with that, Aerith. I'm going to go over here. What is this thing? Oh, just another thing. That's a planet. Planet's a blessing. Hi, how can I help you today? I found, uh, those plume things. What do we want, then? Do we want, like, the breastplate? Do we want the, the feet or the helmet? kind of want to go with the breastplate. I'm going to go with the breastplate. Mine! Mine! I can probably trade those for other things as well, like, later on. If you ever want but, uh, to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Just over there? Uh, the Choco Boutique. <laughs> New discovery made. This one? Is this the one? Is this uh, my chocobo right here? For this area? Does that mean we're going to get different areas depending on the, 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 the chocobo? Oh, so it's like the in the nude. And then we have the, uh, the this whole like armor thing. Nice. Got its head and then the feet. Yeah, works. Oh, we can edit the color. Wow, there's a whole freaking thing here. I'm not gonna go that in deep. I'm not gonna go that deep in the, into this. Yeah, we'll, we'll put all the breastplate on him and then that'll be good. Yeah, looking nice. Pico, pico. Hmm. All right. So where'd Billy go? Billy the kid. So I do need to do the Chadley missions, but uh, the same hand. Probably want to focus on this. It's kind of weird though. That I wasn't able to like everybody was like just hanging out, but I wasn't able to chat with any of them. Feels like I missed some bonding events there, but I guess not. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Either way. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers. I mean, they're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. I'm gonna so assume we're gonna do that too? too. We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. <laughs> Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? So we're gonna start off by doing this, learning how to ride a chocobo, and then we're gonna end up being the, uh, that's a very weird whistle. But then we're gonna learn how to uh, race and be the the world class racers, right? Nice. Um. Hey, I did it. Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Yeah, I mean, I was waiting for you to tell me something. Riding practice, hustle to chocobo. Going ground on Bill's ranch to get the hang of chocobo riding. 
R3, uh, one dash, circle, jump. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go. Oh, it even gives me, like, time, depending on, like, how quickly I can do this. I don't mind doing some races. Yeah, let's go. Got some pretty good speed, too. Yeah, not too bad at all. Also, like how it didn't start me right there. I had to go backwards a little bit. I collided with the freaking goalpost. How close do I gotta be, then, considering... Like, I, uh... I wanted to be close to them so that I, like, it counted. Hmm. Target time's 40 seconds. I even collided with that first one, and I'm still doing, like, real good time. Yeah, I got eight out of... Oh, in the finish line. Gotcha. Yeah, 33. Not bad. Could've got a sub-30. Oh, yeah, I could totally hit first place. Could totally hit first place if I, uh, didn't collide with the thing. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the gold saucer. Oh, hell yeah. We can't thank you enough, <laughs> I told really. you, though. I told you. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Correct. Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Yeah, it's... Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Oh. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. <laughs> oh Not my God. sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. No. You want to lend Chloe a hand? Yeah, we sure. Need to move on. <laughs> Damn. True. But moving on costs money. Cloud, you gotta be such an asshole about everything. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Ah, <sighs> fine. Odd jobs. Yeah, side missions. I got you. I understand what you're doing. Community no notice boards. Ah, cool. That'd be nice. Fast traveling the world. Okay, so yeah, I can just fast travel with that. I'm gonna fast travel to Chocobo stops once you have wrangled the region's Chocobo. Oh, gotcha. I was wondering about those Chocobo stops. I was like, this seems like a fast travel type deal. What's up? I want to do that race again. I, I can I can do it. I can make rank three. I believe it. Now that I know how this works. I, I believe in myself. Believe in the me that believes in me. And in my Chocobo. Start two. All right. But yeah, like, I don't exactly feel like I'm going any, like, faster there. Like, I'm holding R2 down immediately, but it feels like there's, like, a little bit of, like, I gotta wrangle it up first. Feels like I gotta kind of speed up before I can, or, like, I gotta be moving before I can, like, go as fast as I want to. Also, I should probably test out, like, how far away from these things that I can get. I missed that one. So, evidently, that far. Can I... Yeah, retry. Cool. All right. It's very weird, though, how these, uh, the, these, uh, like, goal posts, right? It's just a singular post. So, like, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. Oh, no, there's, like, two stages to it. That's what it is. So, like, you hit R2 once, and then you let off and hit it again. So, you're basically, you're, like, shifting. I can shift with my chocobo. Okay. I might not be... Whoa, that was weird. Might not be exactly correct about that, but that's how it's feeling. Right, 31 seconds is the is the target time. I'm gonna try and keep as close to the uh, the size as I can. 29, 30. Oh, 19 milliseconds over. Retry, retry. We got this. We got this. I gotta, I'm gonna have to like stay on the inside. Maybe do some jumps as well. Maybe do some jumps. I'm not sure how to do like the uh, the, the good like speed. Yeah, honestly, that seems like that might be the best. Like do a double tap of R2 immediately. Huh. It's very strange how this, uh, chocobo handles. Let's just see if I can, like, just cut across the fields a little bit. Yeah! I'm getting some speed now, baby! 20 seconds, can we do it? 11 seconds, baby! 11 seconds! Only got one more than the, the finish line. I kinda wanna keep on, on the right side, because it's easier, but... Easier doesn't give you the time. There we go, 29 and 71. Not bad, not bad. You're a bona fide jockey, all right. You're damn right. <laughs> all right, I'm good. I'm good. I got all of the uh, the rewards from that. Oh my god, the, the game is opening up though drastically. We're now getting side missions. We got those. Uh, I got so much to do. Oh my god, we got so much to do. Everything with Chadley, all of his like fights, and also the um, those, those synchronization towers. And then we also have all of these side missions popping up with. Um, with Chloe, we're back in Calm. We can go back to Calm, though. I'm so happy about that. You're back. I... I heard you might need some help. We need money. You did? 
Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? Yeah. I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. It's true, she's a big flower lover. The thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Oh, she actually has a little photo of it. That's Mom adorable. Used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Really volunteering well, our time there, Aerith. Thoughts? <laughs> Come to your parents. Ask your brother. We'll take the job. <laughs> okay, bruh. That's like super dickhead. That's kind of a dickhead response. This is like the actual, like, we'll just get the money. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Yeah, if you're talking about Thank Midgar, you so much. that's that's a bit of a bit of the ways away. The Wildflower Plateau. That's quite far away, but eh, it's fine. We'll get there. Um. Okay, let's look at the map then. So, World Intel Chocobo Intel All Rounders of the Grassland. Fast travel? Walk? How will you travel to this location? Walk or ch Huh? What is the difference? Okay, I'm here now. But I'm here on foot. Can I... Bill's Ranch and Fast Travel there. I could, didn't get an option about which way I was fast traveling that way. I will travel to this location with Chocobo now. Oh, everybody's got a chocobo. Oh my god. Ah! I was wondering how the hell this was going to look. Freaking red. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's great. I was wondering what we were going to do with him. Apparently, he just got to get on a chocobo. I don't know what the point of this is. Scour. Chocobo couldn't find anything? What? Does it sense anything nearby? Huh? I can find things when I'm on the chocobo? That's... That's insane. How do I dismount? How do I... Oh, R1. Okay. Well, everybody in sync. And all the other chocobos just disappear. Alright, sure. Alright, sure. Whatever. But what's the point of that? Why are we... What's the point of fast traveling with chocobo and fast traveling without chocobo? I guess... If you want to go to an area, but also want to be on horseback to, like, go somewhere. Like, you're just getting as close to the destination as you can. I, I guess, but... Still pretty weird. Still pretty weird. I don't want to go to that tower that's south of me. What am I doing right now? No, for real, though. What, what's my story? I have these side missions. So, I got four side missions to do in this area. And then the story... The Swamplands. Oh, across the Swamp and choke it back and head for the uh, Mithril Mine. Gotcha. Where the hell is that, though? Oh my god, I can go all the way over there now. Oh, lord. Where we The map has opened up. We are now going places. Oh, yeah, I see. It's all the way down here. I really badly want to just completely explore the entire upper half of this map. <laughs> um... Okay, you know what? Let's go to Calm, considering apparently it's fine now. Is that Chadley? Yeah, he's there as well. Interesting. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's, let's uh, accept all of these side missions, first and foremost, okay? We'll go here, accept all of the side missions, and then we'll get those done. And probably, like, off-stream, I'll go around and, like, get to all those towers and do any of those, like, Chadley, like, fighting missions, because, I mean... They don't seem all that important. What Hello are you? There. Snaps? Inspiring, isn't it? The view. Dude's name Snaps. I'm Snaps, by the way. Oh wow. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Nah. Mind if I get a shot of you for posterity? Uh, whatever. <laughs> that pose, though. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. Goddamn right I do. But what about behind it? So. Apparently, there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Are you asking me on a date? The thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. <laughs> what gave it if away? If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. 
Try to view it as a professional photographer might. It's, it's just that simple, huh? Snaps marked a picturesque location. Finish, return home. Huh? All right, sure. Think of it as your uh, part of your field studies. <laughs> Wait, wrong series. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what it's feeling like. Like, oh my god, I got so many, so many things to do. Aw, she cute. Random NPC, adorable. <laughs> but this is, this is crazy how much there is into this. Like, my god, I was uh, not expecting all of this. Also, yeah, like the helicopters and Shinra soldiers just disappeared, and now everybody's just back at it like nothing even happened. Baron Kylegate. Alright, but I'm glad that we're back here, that we didn't miss out on anything. I was kind of worried whenever, you know, Calm got sieged. I was like, oh no, uh, did, did I miss out on, on things? Have I progressed the story? I want to go back and talk to that Broden guy. Yeah, the end here. The end at Calm. Oh my god, that's literally what it's called. Uh, well, this place is popping. It was dead whenever we were here, but... But then it's a bus and Hello. bus and place. To the inn at calm. And apparently that's what it's called. Uh, I don't need to rest there. Oh, there you are. Hey. Oh, you're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. Shockingly, yeah. Are we not going to talk about anything that happened? You're welcome to stay the night, if you want. Okay. Well, I right, then. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. Sure, sure, whatever. Uh, a bit weird, but whatever. I guess we're Everyone just gonna please. go with that. I was starting to worry. Mayor of Calm. you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. What? Huh? Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, <laughs> demolition I'll experts. Soups at a time like this, it's downright distasteful. Oh, he's not joking. Uh, Anyway, oh, so did that truck just disappear on? for a second? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. There's probably a lot of them. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Well, it sounds like he's an amateur. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Yeah, sure. Well, though. if you're that keen... Would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Uh, inquire about the pipeline, ask about this mark. Let's, uh, I mean, yeah, we'll do it, but like, tell Our me the details. Our technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. How fiend? We asked Lee. Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. <laughs> All right, didn't really tell me anything about them, but sure, fine, whatever. You will? Capital! Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. I'm sure. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. <laughs> We're I'm working as hard as we can do we, uh... to get the power grid back online. But I think you're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the Undercity. Yeah, I was kind of so worried about that. Know who he was talking about? I was kind of worried about shot, that. Exactly. Undercity mercs don't go bragging about being ex-soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that, that's fair. That's fair. Let yeah. me know if something yeah. piques your interest. Oh. You know who it probably is? You know who it probably It's probably Johnny. If it's not, I'll eat my freaking hat. I don't even have a hat, but I'll go out and get a hat. Well, I mean, I have hats, but I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll go get an old hat, and I'll eat that hat. Because, <laughs> come on, who else could it be? Who else? Nothing in the shop, though. Hope to see you again. Not even the sword that I'm wearing on my back right now. Makes me concerned, though, to be honest with you. Because I was able to buy this sword that I have, but I also just found the sword. So, like... Uh, am I going to be able to, like, buy things that sometimes I won't... Like, could I just... Just gonna knock that away. Uh... Yeah, like, uh, am I going to be able to, like, buy things that I could just find? I wouldn't expect it in a game like this, considering the weapons actually have, like... Like, merit to them. Whereas in, like, a lot of, uh, like most JRPGs, you can just buy a bunch of weapons, it's fine, it's whatever. But, 
I don't know, this one it feels like a little bit more, like the women feel special. So like buying one or like being able to like find one would be kind of weird. Also, it's, this town is confusing. I don't understand your layout. This is so crowded. Ay, ay, ay. Mogos! Welcome to my humble shop. Hi, you have anything on sale that I care about? I think only the freaking oh I can buy these things though. I think only the um Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're so welcome. I think only the uh the vending machines give me discounts though, which is very weird. I don't know how a vending machine gives you a discount, but sure. Uh anything else in this town? Let me see. We got the cards. A side hustle. Oh yeah, the community board. And there was that dude over there with the photography. Also, like how there's some fog of war in the map here. Like areas that I haven't been to. Very strange. Very strange. Uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are. Oh, the dude with the bouquet. You still waiting? Still waiting, homie? Lifeline and para- Oh, so I can find these myself or I can find these and then move on. Level 18. This one's level 80. All right. Uh, the Rusty Arrow, sure. And the Grasslands, uh, Oliver's Farm, okay. Yeah, we'll take those. So we can either find them out there in the world, or we can do, uh... We, we can just find them here. At, at one of these message boards. Cool, cool. Uh, bartender's location. Our request. This way. There's so many things on, like, the, uh... Also, it's interesting how the minimap is on when we're in towns, but it's the compass when we're outside. You can change that, but I kind of like the difference. Hey, oh no, rare card! I just realized what this is going to be. Hey, Mister, you a winner? Yeah, I don't play card Some games. Ha! <laughs> awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. All right, first off, shave the goatee. <laughs> So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. Great. Right. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. I was, I was fearing that. Oh, I was a fearing it. What card is it? The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks. <laughs> Bro, calm down. slimy bastard. He is so bullet. Bro. Bro. Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. She is. You, you are? <laughs> so then you know. She's so tough. I can be. See what I'm saying though? These these people are very extra about everything. I really want to say get back to yourself because I don't want to do that, but fine. I guess we'll play it once. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> got to make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. I oh, know. Mind if we go around? Oh, God. Yeah, I got to play two rounds. Fine. Uh, I don't even know how to play this game, but fine. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is my deck. Let's begin the match, I suppose. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to play a card game. Uh, select the cards you wish to mulligan. You don't like any... Some or any of the cards you've drawn, you can put them back in the deck and draw new ones. Yeah, that's normal in card games. I don't know what they do, though, so, I mean, we're just going to go. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. So, I'm assuming that this means that this can attack like the blue I'm assuming is where they exist and then the yellow is where they can attack I don't know what the red means though oh it's like side stuff that I can do maybe um do I have any points so it says like two I don't know what I'm doing here uh, oh, it's like, okay, wait, no, that's where I exist, and then, like, it's giving me points. Do I have to have so many, like... No, I don't. Uh, Alright, I already put a card down. He decided to put that one there. Kind of wish that he was going first, so that I could, like, figure this out a little bit more, but... I'm sure it's fine. Uh, the hell does this do? 
benefits more over there, and that's a plus one. I don't know what that means, but that sounds good. Maybe, probably. I don't know. We're we're playing this base completely, totally, on nothing but vibes. I can't use this for whatever reason. Oh, I see now. At the top of it has like these little pawns. Those those are like how many things? Okay, I got gotcha. you. I get you, I get you. Okay, so yeah, I can put that there, then I can put this one on that one over up there. Probably not exactly where I wanted to put that thing, but eh, it's probably fine. So I'm like trying to build up my fortifications as much as I can, I assume. Oh, I probably didn't want to do that yet, huh? I don't know what the hell that did, but sure. Um, yeah, that's a plus two. I don't know if that... Hmm. Does it mean that I can put one of these things down? No. Okay. Sure, whatever. Put my Shinra soldier in the front lines. We're in the middle now. Um. I probably want to throw this guy over here, right? Based completely, totally, solely on vibes. I'm not sure what I'm looking at back there, but it's fine. That's weird. Uh, give me... Oh, I need a two for that. Uh... That's kind of like a waste to do... Uh, I guess I can put it on him as well. Sure, fine, that's fine. I got more slots than he does. He just gave up a turn. Why did he give up a turn? Uh, sure, I guess. Um... Nah. I'm gonna just throw this right there. Bonus turn. He just... Giving up. I guess because I have the things. May as well put the sweeper thing there. I feel like I'm doing pretty good here. Like, I don't know... What I'm doing. Raise the power... Okay. I think I'm... End of match? Are we done? Oh, it's is it like math? Where like I have to have... X amount of math on one side? Oh, okay. It's literally just a card game about math. Gotcha. Okay. okay. That's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no problem. That's the first time I ever That's played the that. Guy you gotta play. The one who took my car. <laughs> Vibe he deck. The yeah. Tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? Bro, you, this this game's done, like your entire life, back. and you're that I'll bad at it. Special cocktail waiting with your name Ooh, on. Ooh, special cocktail. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try. I've been it. itching for a drink. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, that's not that bad, then. Yeah, that was literally just me purely going off based on vibes. I had no idea how to play the game. I did not look at the tutorial. I did not read anything about it. I was just like, alright, let's see what I can do and what I can't do. But seriously, bro lost to me, who hasn't even read the instruction manual on how to play the game. <laughs> Maybe it's not for you. Although, thank God, it, it, it's like that. Honestly speaking, that's not that bad of a game. That's not that bad of a of a card game. It's basically like Blade from uh, from Code Steel 1 and 2. And all I had to do was, like, have the bigger number at the end of the match. And, okay, that, that wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad at all. I, I understand how to play it. I really don't want to play it, because it honestly wasn't that fun. But at least I understand. How it, how it works. No, I'm heading the right way. I think. Probably. I don't know which way's which. Are you Virgil? Yeah, you're probably Virgil. You look like a Virgil. Oh, care for a match? Yeah, sure, We're why not? here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. The card. So, Vash has resorted to this. Hiring people to win his games for him? Yep. <laughs> Fine. But word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Yeah, that dude was very easy. All right, let's go. Two. Does this mean that he's got like he's ranked two or something? Yeah. Uh, vibe deck. Let's go. Begin match. Rewards none. If I beat this guy, I don't get anything. I guess I get the card, but it's not actually my card. All right. Well, at least I understand how to play this now. Uh, sure. Whatever. I don't care. My turn. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll throw this one down there so I can up those two. Oh, but the... Wait, the deck's not even that... 
I just realized that the freaking deck we got... Not, why is it a 5x5 five five grid down there when I don't even have anything that's... That's weird, man. That's weird. Okay, well, I got some really bad cards for this then. Because <laughs> everything's, like, forward. Alright, um... Like, sure, whatever. I guess we're going with this way. I was not correct with any of this. I was doing better when I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Yeah, sure, I'll put you there. Bonus turn. I'm playing the new card game, Code CO3. Every time I had the chance, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, uh... I'm not a fan of card games. I'm just not a fan of, of the card games, so... I, I have not given them any tries. What am I... I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. So yeah, probably moving forward like that would be alright. Be pretty okay. Pretty okay, alright. Okay, now use these things, which I guess would be terrible where I'm at, considering I'm going forward. Uh, Yeah, these ones, these queen bees are terrible, because I can't even use them. Can't even really use them. Uh, I guess we're going with these things. The uh, only place I can put it is here. I am uh, not doing so well. He's got a cactar? Oh, what? I want a cactar. Uh, this would give me two. So that would, like, match us right there. Nah, I can put it there and be five. Uh, that wouldn't even match us, though. Hold up. I guess because of what I have. Oh, and now... So I got access to all of these. So now I can just, like... Hair. I, I can just, like, think about what I need to be doing. Mm. That would give me two there. It gives me four, though. Like, I feel like I want to put this one down, considering that's a four. So, that, like, those would be equal. Yeah, so, like, I'm winning. Like, we're six, six, and five. So, like, I've, I've won the fight. Technically. Even though it hasn't really done anything. Oh, and I got plus one there. So, yeah, we're good. Yeah, uh, end game. We're good. I, I win, I think. Because, yeah, I got those points, and then we just, like, tie it on the other two. Math! <laughs> I'm literally playing this with just vibes. Ah, damn. I really lost. You guys suck. It was one hell of a match, oh. though. Am I right? I love you that. You and I are definitely going to have to play again sometime. Sure, but, totally. Uh, not today. Gotta run. Okay, Hold bye. It. Aren't we forgetting something? Oh yeah, I forgot about that myself, to be honest. <laughs> right. I go Barrett's. Barrett's just back there having a talk with those the random one I people. Off fash, right? Oh shoot. Which card was that again? Chocobo and Moogle. Oh crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kinda awkward, but I don't have it anymore. God damn it. So do I gotta go no, and do seriously, I I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. The name sounds familiar. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done. Am I right? All right, talk to Thorin at the card shop outside of Calm. All right, sure. Yeah, like Aerith and Red and Bear. We're all just having a conversation with that family over there. Oh, yeah, but that isn't too bad. I'm not a huge fan of them, but it's not too difficult either. I kind of have an understanding about what's going on, so it's less vibes and more, like, actually planning ahead attacks, but... <laughs> uh, where the hell am I going? Outside of Calm. I don't know. Uh, region map. Over there? Is this the one? Yeah, that's the, that's the one. Alright, well, I think I'm done inside Calm for now, then. Let's try and get these side missions done, and then we'll probably end stream with that. That probably would be a good place to, like, end it with. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of card games. They're okay. I, I like them IRL. Like, IRL card games are pretty fun. But I'm talking about, like, you know, Go Fish, Blackjack, Poker, things like that. I, I like those type of card games. Not so much um, Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. Those, those games just never... There's too much thinking involved that I was just like, I, nah, I'm fine. I'm not gonna have a freaking... Alright, fine. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? Stealing. We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle Look at all the cards on the back, though. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. Uh, At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. That's unless you more than dabble. No, I just dabble. No, I don't even want to dabble, but I'm you dabbling. Beat me, and that card is all yours. Okay, thank you. I'll do it. So, you game? Unfortunately, let's go. 
challenge. You're asking what a queen's blood is. <laughs> yeah, 1v1 me. Then bust out those cards, boy. Boy! Boy! Alright, but yeah, at least I kind of have an understanding about what's going. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was wondering if that was just because, like, I'm actually getting the card this time. I was wondering if I wasn't getting the card because I wasn't gonna get the card. I was gonna get it for somebody else, but... Nope. Uh, okay, so this one, this one, and this one. I would rather get rid of those. Because they are not all of that useful. All things considered. Alright, I need twos for that, so I'm gonna throw this one there. And end my turn! And then I'm gonna go with this one with the next one, right? So yeah, that boosts him up. That's all of those. Do I want to make him stronger or do I want to... I would get a two-prong... Yeah, probably the two-prong... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get the two-prong there and also move up ahead. That'd probably be one. Then I can use the sweeper. I'm learning how to play card games. I have... This is my third time playing this card game. And I'm already a goddamn professional. Kind of seems like what you want to do, though, is, like, get, get as far forward as you can. Put as many of your little, like, uh, prongs out. Because as soon as you, the more of these that you get, the more, like, you, you can do, right? So, like, I now have all three of those, uh, those tiles, which then gives me a whole lot to work with. A whole lot more to work with. Um, unless I want to do something else, but this is... I could throw this one here. Which would uh, also give me that. Also, it's a two. I mean, that's the same thing, though. Yeah, this, this would just be the same thing. I can try and at least boost up that one before something else happens. Okay, yeah. Oh, he took that one, though. Oh, because it was a three. So they can overpower my cards if they are good enough. Yeah, like, then I can steal that one again and make it mine. Um. But I also feel like that probably would not be worth my time. Probably, honestly, yeah, that is looking more worth my time with that particular one. Unless I want to... Nah, because this one would only affect those two. So, yeah. It is a two-prong, though, which is kind of cringe. But honestly, it looks just like it's better. Yeah, stealing all of their stuff that they've got forward. That would be the, the better way to go. Um... It's only a one. They, these ones really suck. Th those ones are terrible. Okay, uh, but I can throw... Like... Yeah, I can put this one right there, and then, like, all of these are mine. Everything is mine. Yeah, opponent can't do anything now. So I don't have as many points on board right now, but, I mean... I've got quite a bit. I've got a, quite a bit that I'm working with. Yeah, this thing boosts all those guys up. Uh, unless I can... Go to double there, which I might be able to if I get lucky. Yeah, because I want to put you here. Yeah, hold up. Put you here. And then throw this one right there. I have learned how to play card games. I am now a master. A master. Oh, it's a five. B it's a five grid considering if I put it down like here. It would give me that one over there. Oh, I see. I understand how these things are working now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, just, I mean, I may as well just throw that right there. We set up. So I'm gonna get five there, but I'm gonna get nine there and four there, so, yeah, I mean, I've got way... I got all the points. I mean, which one just gives me the most? Just these ones. Um, doesn't really matter. Just put the queen bee on, just so it makes it feel like the queen bee does something. Maybe it'll do something then. Wait, end match. I win. Easy. Okay, yeah, so I get all the points that I have there. Easy. New card obtained. It's a really pretty card, but it doesn't do... It's a one that does a three and only one point. It's not even all that good. you got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Thanks, it's my third Here's game. The deal. Here's your card. <laughs> but next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Yeah, I'd hope that you was holding back, considering, Jesus Christ, that was not all that impressive. You have all these trophies and you were that bad? Damn, bro. Damn. But yeah, I love that little, like, we, we put our sword in that little, like, container thing. That's cool. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, if I never play the card game ever again, 
It'll be too soon. Back to fighting. Back to fighting, my beloved. You're dead. I love that attack. That is a very fun attack. Okay, um... Keep it together. So it's Aerith. Turn? Yeah, yeah. And then... Whoa. So with your attack, it's... Uh... Chrono, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Which honestly is a really good attack, considering... It'll, uh... It, it, it'll, uh... Like, parry any, any, any enemies that are coming my way. So yeah, honestly... Yeah, Arcane Ward and the Chrono Igus. Put those two together and Igus or uh Aerith's doing pretty alright if she has the Chrono Igus and the, the the ward. Not a bad combo. Not a bad combo at all. Nah, but I'm already done with freaking Cloud's attack. That is a fun one though. Like it reminds me of like one of those Fire Emblem Smash characters, like uh, final smash attacks. Where you just like you hit him once and then you're like up in the sky and just doing all sorts of fancy footwork. Well, sword work. Not really much footwork when you're up in the sky, huh? Uh, either way. Where's this, um, it's down there? It's the farmer's request. Where's the, uh, the one? Is it down here? Uh, that's the one. Okay. They must have something all the way up here as well. Oh, yeah, the wildflower plateau. <coughs> Okay, so yeah. I could return there. Yeah, I guess I should, huh? I guess I should return to, uh... To Calm, since I have that card now. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. But yeah, it's, it's a good thing that you're doing that, Minkyu. It's a good thing that you're doing the, the card game, because, I mean... There is a, uh... Like, like, one of the... Like, later on in the game, you, you do play... You do play whatever that card game is called, Vantage Masters. Everyone, That's please. what it is. One you do play time. Vantage Masters against somebody, and like depending on how well you do, you get like bonus AP. So, for me, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like if you lose, it's whatever. If you win, you get like plus one AP. But if you win with your own deck, you get like plus two AP. So, yeah. You got my baby back. Yeah, I got your baby back. This isn't the first card I've lost. I'm not surprised, you suck. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on. So am I keeping it? Here. It's probably better off with you. Had a feeling. Thank you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Alright. That's a weight off my mind. Literally nothing has changed in your right, situation right now. How about I fix you two your drinks? I like a drink. So this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Uh-huh. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. I'm gonna assume that's probably Tifus, right? Heaven. Yep. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? It is very pretty. Go on, drink up. Don't gotta tell me twice. Thanks. Ooh. What do you think that tastes like? You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. <laughs> Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah. I mean, they put that on the rim of a lot of drinks, so it's not that surprising. Don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender. Yeah. Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. With bells on? <laughs> Bro's super excited about that. Oh. My relationship with Tifa has increased. Aw, by doing that mission, Tifa likes me more now. Aw, that's... that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Ooh, probably like two points from highest rank again. Always just fail enough. Actually, I... I failed quite a bit of things, Minkyu. I failed at quite a bit of things. Like... There are a few fights that I just could not win. Like, I just could not win those fights. And... Then there was that card game where I like I won the card game with the default deck but I didn't win it with my deck so I didn't get as many points as I should have but um, yeah there's being I missed like I want to say like five things and I was still like two points over I still was able to get the the, the top rank 
But yeah, it's also a lot easier with Cold Steel 3 and 4, considering those ones have, uh, like, all the hidden stuff is on the map. You just gotta make sure you go to all the areas to make sure that you're not missing any of the hidden stuff. <laughs> it's, but it will show you everything. Oh my god, look at that at the bottom. I didn't mean to press that button. Whoops. If you look at that at the bottom, there is a, uh, the bottom left. Regional data accumulated, intel gathered, towers, combat assignments, summon crystals, life springs, and a, a proto relic. So many things to get, especially that intel gathered. Oh my god, that one's amazing. <coughs> I think I was a couple of points short in Azure now that I think about it. Ah, I don't remember what I was in Azure. Because I didn't look up a guide for that one, so that was just me, like, because I didn't want to get spoiled for anything. So I think I was probably pretty uh, bad in that one as well, to be honest, in both Zero and Azure. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here to Oliver's farm. May as well. Let's see what's going on with that. But yeah, I um, I was I uh, was uh, a couple of points short in those ones, I'm sure. But in in the uh, oh, it's actually like a. That's not exact. <laughs> what pictures are these? I'm not exactly sure what these pictures are. At first, I was like, oh, that's that looks like it's um, just actually my screenshot of where I am. But then it was just on the Chocobo's there, so I don't, I don't know. But yeah, Cold Steel makes it a lot easier to figure out like where all the things are without using a guide. Sure hey, you, Oliver. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, they see forgot about that. Here. Mind help me with something? This guy I'm gives you Preston Harvey way. vibes. Owner of this farm. Yeah, Another settlement is need of your help. Every night it comes after my life. It's not as to blame. Think, you could think of a rim, but still. Hmm, I wasn't really paying attention, but sure, I'll do it. How do you know Broden? Eh, you know what? I don't care. Appreciate it. That your dog there? Might have a bed him? I don't know, Red is a fine. But he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. Nah. <laughs> But you are a good boy, Red. Something tells me he's not all bark. <laughs> yeah, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Oh, fiends, gotcha. Cow. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a whole broken part down. So I'm guessing this is the one that I'm going to be boosting my uh, friendship with Red. I'm really enjoying how this game is going, though. There's a lot of uh, interesting little things like this going on. Bonding with the teammates. That's I love it. Oh, Red, do you uh, smell anything? Here. So? It's been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. But you this still smell it? Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. I'm gonna try. Gonna have my chocobo sent to the area. That sounds very weird. Oh, when it's got a question mark, it means something's about to sniff. Hold up to sniff, and then use right stick to face the scent. But I thought, oh yeah, there is. I'm sensing something. What am I? He's got oh. What? What? Well, I still have a faint impression of the scent. Together, we can find the beast. I kind of want to dismount to see what's going on with that thing, but at the same time... So we gotta keep going that way. Okay. Sure. This way we go. Eh, look at that. It's like a whole little, like, tread we can follow. Or a whole thread. Am I... Okay. I was wondering if I was going to be like you want to track it from here on immune out? to monsters. The chocobo has led us this far after all. There's items back there I could have picked up, but I wasn't thinking about it until it was too late. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, I can only press it once and it picks up all of them whenever I want chocobo back. That's cool. I like that. Um hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of felt like I was gonna to have to like smell multiple times. Because they kinda of, like lost it. That is really cool, being able to press it once. Here not long ago. And now I gotta send to this area? Uh... Alright, sure. Can help guide the bird. Ensure it doesn't stray. I mean, yeah, it's, you're riding the Chocobo some, some way, somehow. Also, I feel like having a fiery tail would be, like, the worst thing ever. 
because I mean, it looks cool, but imagine she's just gonna be burning everything. Man, I'm gonna try and like not fight these things. I think it's a full circle that makes us fight them, so. Also, we could just run away from the fights, anyways. Bit busy right now. Don't feel like it. That is so handy. Oh my god, it's so handy. Excuse me. Alright, I'm I'm trying to get through and I don't want to fight you. I've already fought you guys a lot of times. I'm already like level 18. Which is probably a bit higher level than I should be at the moment. But it's fine. That, was that a baby chocobo that I just saw back there? Hold up. I mean, I'm saying hold up, but like, I'm not holding up. I think there's baby chocobos back there though. No. Mm. Adorable. Hey, we're at the freaking beach now. Man. Imagine if I just like stumbled upon the uh, the fiend whenever I was here. There. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, probably want to dismount then, huh? Huh. Interesting. Might as well save. I want to save our data. Just, uh, just to play it safe. Just to play it safe. I don't even know like how long there was between each of these uh, these points. Wait, it says level 18. We're level 18, so should be fine. I think I still need to play as Aerith. I don't know if I have her set as the lead though. Nope, I don't. Deal with that. I'm Deal coming. with that. I'm coming. My. Oh my. Aerith, darling. Aerith. Okay, uh, I want to use Chrono. I guess. Say, get away from me. Don't do anything. Okay, that looks bad. Help! 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 All right, you know what? Yeah, that, that's. Uh, that's better. That was not ideal. Ooh, that's not ideal at all. What is this fire that's going on? That was uh, not great. I don't know what that fire attack was, but that was not ideal. Okay, uh, I want to use unbridled strength. And then do it again. You're gonna feel this one. I can fix this. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Maybe it... <laughs> oh, you got... I couldn't even run away. Alright then. White Terror. Understood. <laughs> Un understood. Terror from last battle. Just before the last battle. That is really handy. Oh my god. It'll load you before you trigger the fight. Oh, that's really cool. Speed, yeah. And I'm gonna do a wheel spin for that one. That thing kind of kicked my ass. This, this mission says that it's level 18, and I was like, oh, I'm level 18. I should be perfectly fine. But, uh, evidently not. So my weapon level is about to level up. I don't know what that means, but it's about to level up. Mm, it's about to break. That, uh, that, like, fire attack that it had, though, I couldn't do anything about that. There was so much going on. There was, there was so many of those little fires. Like, I, yeah, guard, sure, but, uh... <laughs> It wasn't, uh, I didn't even, ex I didn't expect that to do like that. I think they did a throw clamp on, on, uh, Aerith, and then it was just game, set, match. All that fire. Aye, aye, aye. Um, I kind of want to try it again, but, like, I'll stick with the cloud this time. Nah. So we got one wheel spin on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the docket. But I want to see what's up. Okay, so I have... Yeah, so I can parry the attacks if I, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So long as it's not a, um... So long as it's not the, uh, the, the one attack. So long as it's not that one big attack, we'll be fine. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, that's the bad one. That's the bad one, I think. You're splitting how? Yeah, yeah. I'm in operator mode, so... Yeah, that, that, that should be doing pretty okay. Fireball blade. Oh yeah, I got some free healing from Aerith, considering she's, uh... Considering she's actually doing her what she should be doing. I'm not sure what's going on with these attacks. Some of these attacks that he's doing. Seems like I'm doing better, though, now that I'm playing as, uh... Cloud and not... Whoa, move! Okay, well, that's that, then I guess... I'm brattled strength. Omni strike. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for. I'm not doing, like, ideal. <laughs> I'm not doing ideal. Yeah, this thing is immune to fire damage, I'm assuming. Change the Punisher mode. Well, I mean, it worked out, I guess. Did I get a perfect dodge there? Maybe. Uh, I was hoping this thing was going to be focused on me, but... 
that hurt a lot. Gotta be that, careful. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Even though I'm in that, I'm still taking a lot of damage. Okay, give me some potion. Oh, Thank God, I took a potion there. Wow, even yeah, blocking that damage so is still. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Oh, Cloud's got his uh, S break. Oh, of course, right? Lend me your strength. Of course, right now, out of all the times, is when this is gonna happen. Healing Wind stores moderate amount of HP. That doesn't do anything. They're not alive right now. Uh, abilities, sure. Uh, 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 I don't know, got anything that's really all that good. Uh, jet Stream, sure, why not? I don't know. Let's go with that. I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> Jesus. This is not ideal. Unless this does heal. Stay strong and carry on. Stay strong and carry on. I healed myself and nobody else. Run away. Oh, yo, Barrett's actually fighting a little bit. He's actually fighting a little bit. Wait, wait do I have to have two? I might have to have two uh, bars of ATB before I can do... Uh, God, that, a, that is a big attack. That is a huge attack. That, that AoE that it has and then all that following around. Oh my god, that hurts. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's maybe not something we should be doing right now. I'm not uh, equipped enough to handle that. The thing is shockingly strong. Like, good god. Good god. I, like, I've had no problems with like any enemies up to now. And that thing is like, ha. <laughs> Get dead. Get dead. Alright, well, at least we now know that that thing is there. There's a fiend over there, a thing over there. God, there's so many things that I want to look at. I want to look at these things before... Okay, so I... <sighs> hmm. So many things. So many things. So many things that I want to do. Oh, my God. What's up, Keg? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in on that tool which site. Glad to see you. Thank you for stopping on by. Alright, um... Yeah, we're doing a... Wheel Sabiner, because I failed. I failed at life. I failed at love. And so now I'm a VTuber, so I can fail at that too. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, for anybody that's new, we do wheel spins. Um, I don't think it's 12, actually. I think I did increase the amount of punishment wheel. Alright, oh, my phone's dead, so I had it charging. All right, um, yeah, 12, I think it's, it's 12, I think that's how many we do, I don't remember what the numbers are, though, so, uh, let me, so number seven, we, well, we need to do two, two of them, because I, I failed twice, but how you doing, Cake? Seven and two, go ahead and hide that, seven and two, and then, uh, move this over, not exactly the most opportune thing, but, you know, whatever. 7 and 2, 7 and 2. Those are bicycle kicks and bicep reps. Yeah, I did change what well, they are. The so bicycle kicks and. Uh, Alright, cool. Cool, cool. I'm doing great since I'm with all of you guys. Hey, we're always glad to have you, Keg. Always glad to have you around. Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy has been fun, but. Wow. That, uh, that came out of nowhere. I'm doing great. I don't know about that. I just got my shit rocked. That's why I'm doing punching wheels. Alright, and ten bicep reps. Alright. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> I'm going to drink a little. Mm -mm. Alright. Got myself a little drink as well, because may as well reward myself for a little workout. 
All right, but yeah, yeah, we're having a good time. We're having a good time playing uh, this game. I'm really enjoying like how much it's opened up. Like the open world of this is insane. It's it's very, very impressive. Hey, there's like a baby chocobos. Look at those little baby chocobos. That little chicks will lead you to chocobo stops. I mean, I've already, uh, I've already seen a few of these chocobo stops. I don't. Oh my god, they got little like seed. Ling things on their butts. Oh, that's adorable. Are chocobos flowers? Oh, and then I have to put these this up. I didn't see that it was a whole option until I uh, had already pressed the button. Oh, so I have to repair these, and now I can teleport here. <laughs> well, jokes on me for. Uh... Oh, I even got a a plume for it. It jokes on me for uh, <laughs> exploring around before unlocking the exploration. I explored too quickly. Oh, well, it's fine. God, I really want to explore everywhere. But also, um, there's these things. So, like, that thing's a bit strong for me at the moment, so I'm going to hold off on it. we got these fiends to deal with, and we've got these phenomenons. This is level 17. I'm level 18, so we should be fine. Also, that was very weird. The way that I was, my camera was facing, was not the way that I was, uh, the, the way that I was facing. So it was like, okay, I'm facing the right way. But no, no, I was not. Alright, well, anyways. Speed boost! Handful of new, numinous? Yeah, numinous ashes. I don't know what that means, but sure, why not? So what's the jump like? I don't know what the jump's like. Well, this is it. Ooh, that's interesting. Don't overdo it. I like that. Don't overdo it. First aid. God, it just reminded me so much about um, reminded me so much about uh, <laughs> rain from from Tales of Symphonia. Oh my God. I thought this uh, Igus thing was supposed to protect me from attacks. Doesn't seem to be doing that well of a, a job of it. Uh, Arcane Ward on myself. Needs more magic. Yeah, like, they're supposed to, like, protect me from, uh, attacks that I have. Ugh, it's supposed to, like, freeze an enemy and whatnot. Doesn't seem to do that well, though. I was like, yeah, this would be awesome. Whoa. Moving on, then. Moving on, then. Uh, she does have her... Oh, I, I auto get back on my chocobos if I fight? Well, that's cool. Well, that's cool. That's really nice. There's a lot of, like, quality of life things in here that... Honestly, I've never seen that. I've never been. I've never seen a game just like automatically put me back on my mount after I've been in a combat situation. So apparently, I have a jump, but I don't know what the jump is. All right, area of interest discovered. The proto relic should be somewhere in your vicinity. Oh, I have like a flutter. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll explore around. Open door. It's locked, and I can't climb it. What is that weird monkey rabbit thing up there? Whatever. All right, uh, crouch through here and let's see what we got. And let's see what these things are. <laughs> yep, this here's something that will appreciate. Appreciate? What? Yeah, appreciate it. These dudes are drunk. What are we these dudes are drunk off their asses. <laughs> What's this music? Is that dub step? Hey, we're... Uh, oh, shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, shit. Uh, the hell you people do with I remember these idiots. Oh, my God. What did you find? <laughs> you like to know? We found these guys in the slums before. I, mean, I would, too. And it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous amount of power. D yeah, sure. Once we flip it. We'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Uh huh. Hey, Cloud, isn't that? Yeah, we've met these idiots. Either way, give it. On. Now you're after our treasure. Yes. Well, sucks to be you. We found it. I know. Yeah, really does suck to be the you. Only ones who can appreciate it. <laughs> Hand it over. Now. Give me. Do you really think that's enough to intimidate the likes of... No, please, it's all yours. Just don't hurt us again. See, those two are right. Quite dead! Quite dead! 
Those two guys know. Nah. I call it use a decoy. My God, these guys are geniuses. All of you, that's who. You don't gotta attack if you don't want to. Just saying. Not gonna think less of you if you don't attack. Okay, uh. Rono I guess. Oh, I didn't even see that dude right there. Rono I guess. Wow, that wall of attack hurt a lot. That one did a lot of damage. And that dude. What am I? Oh, I'm stunned. I am. I'm stunned or, or something. I yeah yeah. That was weird. Okay, I need to do. Uh, wait, I do have for healing. Guys, yeah, stop turning towards me. Everybody else dead. Yeah, I think the rest of them are dead. Uh, you back off a little bit. I rather. Don't attack me! Don't attack me! Don't attack me! I just need a little bit more yeah. ATP. There we go. Uh, pray. There we go. Everybody heal up a little bit. Not just me, but also everyone. I'm gonna. I need to back up a little bit. Maybe you know, honestly, running might just be faster than dodging, with with some of these characters at least. What's this music? <laughs> I'm vibing with it though. Oh my god. That dude has it. Beat us to it. Oh? Yo, 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 yo! Fortunately, I've already ascertained the proto relic's destination. Would you mind heading there? Sure. Alright, good job, decoys. See, 10 data points to. Alright, whatever. Oh, that was an intel. It was a world intel. And so now I gotta go to the next part. Okay, so yeah, these world intel things. I should do these on stream. I was wondering about, like, I was wanted to see what they, they were on stream, just to see what they were. I also thought this, this, uh, <laughs> I thought that was going to be the thing that I had to worry about, but uh, apparently not. Apparently something much smaller. What about, uh, Aerith? Okay, we're good. We don't have to actually use Aerith anymore. Uh, I'll keep her in my party, because White Mage, but, uh, I don't actually have to play as her. Dead. I'm super duper dead. <laughs> nice. Yeah, now's our chance. Let's catch up with Zack. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Stay classy. I was expecting to be inside, but all right, I guess these doors are just locked. Whatever. All right, yeah, but, but note it. Any of those things... Oh, I could have went down that way. Whatever. Any of those things I can do... Uh, I, I should do on stream, because that's... That, that's interesting. That, that's, that's something that's cool. Climbing a tower, not too worried about that. The fiends probably do those on stream as well. But like, what are these things? So, expeditions. What do we got with that? Also, these things you should do on stream. So, yeah. Got some things we know we should do on stream, but some other things we're not too worried about. Uh, We'll go there with the chocobo. That way I can just go straight to the next area. Yeah, I want to see what this one thing is, and then we will probably call stream there. What am I... Sm oh, right. Wait, no, no, no. It's that one thing. I'm sure it's probably just that one thing again, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now I do have to hold the button. Weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that whatever the scent is, it's going to be that thing that, that... That monster that we're chasing after. So I'm not too worried. Uh, West... That's correct, I think. Was it west and north? <laughs> Is that an owl? Eh. No, no, it's right here. Right here. Somewhere along this uh, cliff face, or I guess up there, huh? Oh, whatever. Let's get up on top of this thing, see what this one is, and then... Like, we still got a lot of the world to explore around, so we're not going to be able to finish up all the quests today, but that's fine. We can, uh... What the hell? Why is that owl so important looking? What is that? Is that thing leading me somewhere? It almost looks like it's leading me somewhere. What do we what do we got up here? Yeah, it looks like this thing's leading me to Cragshade Life Spring. Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Not really stumbled, Why don't you but try yeah. Scanning it? 
see what you uncover. Yeah, I... Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. I works for me. Life Springs. Congrats the wisdom of the Life Spring revealing new points of interest. Following a spring seeker owl, you do a Life Spring. Oh. A life spring. There's so many things around here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like all of these like links. I, I can get all of them. Uh, like all these things that are like linked together. All right, scan this thing. What is this? Oh, it, it's a it's a like a quick time thing. Gotcha. Got it. Easy. Scanned the hell out of that thing. Ooh, it's thundering outside. Calm, a recent history. I want you to decipher the knowledge of the life stream revealing regional intel. Uh, I can go there if I want to learn more about it. That's cool. Getting some backstory, getting some lore of the town, some of the history of the towns. That's cool. Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. I figured. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. I like how his face does not move at all. His mouth's moving, but his face and the rest of his head is just like, I am robot. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, but all right, yeah, cool. So we got that one done. I'll probably, I, I could do those ones off stream. That one wouldn't be something that I'm too worried about doing on or off stream. And then, yeah, those things as well. What are, Moogle intel. Oh yeah, there was that Moogle thing down there. Um, sure. Let's see what's up with this Moogle, and then I guess with that, we'll call it a stream. Uh, fast forward there. To Bill's Ranch. And I guess we just can't be on Chocobo inside of Bill's Ranch. It's kind of funny. But whatever. Come on. I have Chocobo, wait. Oh. <laughs> he was, like, right behind me. I was, I'm expect I, I was expecting more of, like, Elden Ring, where, like, if you call Torrent... It basically just summons right then and there, and you're just, you're good to go. You're fine. You're golden. I kind of want to have the minimap on my screen during these, considering it would be very helpful. But at the same time, I do like the, uh... Uh... How, like, free the, 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 the camera is. How free the screen is whenever I don't have to worry about... Like, with this compass there, it's just like... Everything that I need is right there, but it's not over, like, it's not a bunch of, like, Ubisoft points on my screen being like, hey, go here, hey, do this, hey, this is this thing. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I'm sending Mushroom Ship to Mogstool to get a peek of the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein. Alright. Nah. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a Moogle Mushroom. I was here earlier. Couldn't do anything with it. Enter the Mogstool? Yeah. Let's see what's up. Knock, knock, open up the door and chill! Kind of reminds me of the Harvest Moon, uh, a, a Wonderful Life. How in that game there was like that giant tree. What the? You ate a mushroom and you went inside the tree. Welcome to our Moogle Emporium. Kupo! Oh, I'm sorry to say we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. Oh no! Kupo! No, oh, they're so cute. Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kupo. <laughs> Kupo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping. The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, <laughs> so I want you to round them up, and then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kupo. How could I say no to that face? Seriously, the thing's like casting charm on me. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa! Koopa! Moogle mischief. Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them to their mugs or catch them and escort them there yourselves. Get hit three times and the game will end? What? Bring all five Mooglets left to the mug stool. What the hell am I doing? Take this? Are you attacking me? Is this the, uh... Is this the, the Moxel that I'm trying to get them in? Okay, so yeah, I gotta get them into the, like, the, the, the green area. 
All right. So slow. So slow. Well, I'm sorry. I'm also kind of scared whenever you're throwing shit on my way. God, got bombs. Then that one's got bananas. Aye, aye, aye. Can you uh go in? Thank you. Let me just get around here. What are these? Kind of, kind of concerned about that. Also, why is there a fence around these the, the thing? It only makes it more difficult. Their little fence that they got put up is kind of difficult. How do I grab them? It said that I could grab them as well, right? Yeah. Don't do that. Thank you. All right, that wasn't too bad. Koopa. You're a lifesaver, Koopa. Yeah, I did it. But I said I could pick them up though. Nah, maybe later on. Give them a good beating. Oh no! Thank you. No. Exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great. I promise. Pretty sun looking in this game. They're pretty interesting. All right. Uh. So yeah, I can now use Moogle medals here, huh? Sure. I got some of them. What is? What do I got? Oh, here we are. This is what uh, Zekman was talking about. Just lightning outside. Um. Uh, so it increases clouds skill points. I think this was in the first one as well. Uh. It takes six medals to afford these. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, probably Cloud, right? Considering he is the main character. So I have one more Moogle medal remaining, but... Nah. Oh, I want to gain 10 SP. Just okay, so cool. Know, there are six more mod stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. the more yeah. emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Yeah, you win, and you win even more. <laughs> I hope you open up your store, and then you have more things that I can buy. That gives you the money. I think you're the one that's doing that, a lot of the winning there. I gotta open up the shop just to shop at it. Well, oh, whatever. Whatever is what it is. I'm gonna save my game, because I'm a little concerned about the thunderstorm outside. But yes. Um, I think that's probably gonna be the end of stream, then. Because I think we've explored. They look a bit like koalas, they do. They, they do. I do want to see what this thing is, this grassland scenic spot, but if I don't stop at some point in time, I'm never going to stop. <laughs> but yeah, at least, so like these things, these uh, phenomenon, I'm going to do those on stream. Uh, these towers, I'm going to do those off stream. I'm, I'm just going to do those off stream. It's not going to, not going to be something. If I really am feeling like fun, if I'm really feeling like I want to play more of this game, I might even do these, uh, these card games, these whatever they are. I might do those as well, but I'm definitely not going to do those on stream and... I probably won't just do them at all, to be honest with you, but... Nah. Definitely these Phenomenons. Um, the Fiends I might do on stream, I might do off stream. I'm not quite too sure yet, because it's just a fight. And so, like, the Chadley fights, I'm probably just going to do this one's off stream. It's just things to fight, right? So, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, any of these, like, destinations that I find that have, like, treasure, I'll just do those off stream as well. But, uh, yeah, I'll make sure to do, of course, main story on stream. I'm going to see what these pictures are on stream, and, uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there. I'll pr mo probably most of these things that it's Chadley I'm going to do off stream. Cause, oh, yeah, like, this one I think is just, like, fight X amount of monsters. And, you know, like, region intel. I think we just found that out with that one, like, thing we, we had. Level sync. Oh, okay. If this is level sync, then I probably want to do these quickly. Oh, they even give me rewards. It kind of reminds me of, uh, Crisis Core. Of those little side missions in that game. But yeah, I'll do those off stream. And, uh, yeah, like all, all this stuff. I'll probably do like everything with Chadley off stream. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's it's nice, but it's kind of busy work. So I'm not too worried about doing that. Uh, that'll keep me entertained enough. But yeah, this exploration. Oh man, I just. I'm, there's a good chance that, like, I'm just going to be going around. And, like, the next time that we're on stream, from, like, this peninsula to, so, like, all of this is going to get, like, mapped out. <laughs> There's a good chance that, like, half the map's going to be mapped out before next week's streams of Final Fantasy. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and, like, avoid... I'm not going to do any of these these missions. Any of these, uh, these side missions. I'm going to wait for that on stream. But I want to map the area out. <laughs> I want to at least map the area out. Which also would help for fast traveling around. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll do a Discord stream of it if I'm feeling, um, 
feeling fun, you know, just be muted in the Discord with the, the game up, me just vibing around, just in case anything interesting does happen, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. But either way, gonna end the stream there for today. Uh, I think I saved. I'm pretty sure I saved, but I'm gonna save again. Also, look for a raid target on a Z to which Save your progress this lot. Yes, yes, yes. Yay, I did it. But yeah, uh, so tomorrow is Friday, so we got Dark Souls 2 Drunk Souls. So I hope to see you all there. Hopefully, uh, it'll be a fun time. I promise. I promise. Wait, who uh, who do we got? We got uh, the people that I know that's alive right now. We got Willow. We got Church. And we got Gelteran, which we've already raided all three of them, I believe. Unless anybody's got a suggestion. Um... Yeah, like, and the recommendations that, like, it gives me aren't all that great. I don't think you can really search by VTuber. I still need to, like, I, I need to find more people that stream at this time, right? At, like, the, uh, like, like, 3.30 EST time period. Because that's when I'm going to be ending stream, so, like, <laughs> I need to meet more people at this time. But there's, like, a double-edged sword, considering I'm never going to be able to watch those people's streams, considering I'm pretty much always busy from 4 to 6. <laughs> Because it's like, yeah, that's, that's, maybe I can be there and say, like, hi or whatever, but, like, I'm not going to be able to, like, actually have you up. <laughs> so, you know. That's whenever I, you know, I shower, I get food, I do any, like, cleaning that I got to do. Like, pretty much, I'm busy until, like, 6 p.m., like, every day. Like, 6 p.m. to, like, midnight. That's my, uh, I can be around in people's streams time. Past that, it's just like, alright, I'm either sleeping or I'm cleaning or working or whatever. I'm doing something. So it's uh, difficult for me to, uh, you know, find people uh, during those times. But, you know, that's why the, the raid redeems their... Sure, you know what? Let's go ahead and raid into Willow. Oh, she's using her new model as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely then. Definitely. All right, yeah, you go and say hello to the lovely Willow Tree and Necromancy. Using a, a brand new model that uh, she's got, which... Looks quite nice, quite nice. So yeah, make sure you go over there, say hi, and uh, you all have a good rest of your day. Everybody on the YouTube side, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all of that nonsense, as always. Appreciate you as well, of course, of course. But yeah, we're going to be in this room there, so Dark Souls 2 tomorrow, Drunk Souls, and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. <laughs> we'll, we'll take it from there. But either way, thank you all so much for stopping on by, thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next one, alright? You all, take care!